to the victory of America and the freedom of the earth from all that is not of the light forever. Remember, I have twelve important beings who came with me, and they too are victory. There are limitless legions of the angels of victory, the great cosmic temple of victory, whose music alone charged into the atmosphere of earth in its cosmic flame, will consume every shadow of human distress. So tonight, let me give you the victory, my song of light, and be free, beloved ones. Set America free, and let my victory speak to the world, the love of my heart and the accomplishment of Saint Germain's freedom and victory of the light, for all in the ascension. I thank you, beloved ones, for your presence here and the effort you have made to give acknowledgement to my victory over the past week. Will you try? Discourse 3. It for another week, and I might call again next Sunday. I want your victory, beloved ones. I know you want it, and we all want it for America. The unfed flame in the heart of every human being wants it for America, and this, being the permanent atom in the heart of the world, is the home of victory for the earth forever. I want your victory tonight. I shall give you my love, and the power of my light going before you, shall set you free in everlasting victory. I enfold you in that cosmic flame forever. Good night. Discourse IV. November 26, 1944. CHICAGO, Illinois. My beloved legions of victory, for such I have called you, and such you are. I come again this afternoon to lift you, I trust, one step nearer to the mighty victory, the great eternal victory of both your ascension and the ascension of your nation, out of the claws of all that is of the shadows. As we call forth the great cosmic flame of cosmic victory this afternoon, to enable you to feel the mastery which is contained within it, I ask you again to remember that without forgiveness, you cannot have victory. Without love you cannot have victory, and if there is anything of the shadows, then it is not victory. As the beloved Goddess of Light said to you this morning, in this great cosmic action which has recently been released for greater protection and blessing to the IAM student body, unless you of your own volition face the cosmic sun of victory and go into its heart. Then the shadows are in the world about you. Only when you enter into the heart of the flame of any special quality, do you lose consciousness of. 386. Discourse 8. 387. The shadows, the distress, and problems of the outer world. Therefore, if you are to be the open door through which the light of victory must come to America, then there must be no more shadows in you or your worlds. You can just as well have your daily acknowledgement of our cosmic flame of cosmic victory in everything you contact, as to acknowledge the outer world's conditions with which you have associated so long, and which have enmeshed you more and more in their distress. You cannot converse about the shadows and have any light in your world. While you are speaking of the shadows, the shadows will enfold you. Now don't mistake this any longer. You cannot discuss discordant conditions in continued conversation, and not be engulfed by the shadows during that time. When you discuss me or the light or freedom, or any quality that is constructive, you are engulfed in the light, are you not? Well, since you are my legions of victory, or at least part of them, I expect your acknowledgement of the light where the shadows seem to be, because you have no way, there is no way in this universe of getting rid of any of the shadows of human distress, except to put light in their place. Can you take the darkness out of this room by any means whatsoever, except to bring the light within it? Then, unless you bring the light within the shadows of your 388 the IAM 99 discourses Problems, how can your problems ever be solved or dissolved? Every thought, every feeling, every spoken word that is not constructive is a shadow, therefore, not my victory, not America's victory, not Saint Germain's victory. In order for light to release, light must be accepted, light must be acknowledged, light must be called into action. Light must be loved, and light must be spoken into the atmosphere of earth, if light is to produce a manifestation. You cannot produce a manifestation of light by discussion of the darkness. It never was done, never will be done. The world needs every particle of light that you can call forth this hour. Even the shadows of human distress must be consumed by light so intense that they cannot live longer. Now then, in addition to this mighty activity that the Goddess of Light gave this morning to the Minutemen, I shall touch lightly upon it again, because it has much to do with your acknowledging and holding the victory of light in your own worlds. 
In answer to your calls for dispensations and more light, more help, and more power from the great central sun for the freeing of your nation and the world, there has recently been released the cosmic action of a sphere of white fire, or sun of white fire if you please, with the two golden wings, which this messenger saw about a week ago. This has been Discourse 8. 389. R-E-L-E-A-S-E-D and is coming to the earth in greater P-O-W-E-R, in order to surround each of you with an activity of the white fire and the blue lightning of divine love from the great central sun, which was about each one of you in the beginning of your individualization. In the two first golden ages, every individual walked within that blazing sphere of pure white fire from the great central sun, the outer edge of which was the blue lightning of divine love. That was a natural, protecting, enfolding power and focus of the fire element. That was maintained for the two first golden ages. Then, as mankind's attention became more and more enmeshed in the things they were doing, they did not go back in the love and devotion of their hearts to the mighty central sun from whence they came, often enough to hold its guard about them. More and more that light receded until they were forced, as it were, to move in the vibratory action of the outer world of their own imaginings, and hence their own creation of discord. Because of the tremendous electronic force and power of light which has been drawn forth by the IAM, student body through your IAM, decrees, and your calls for mercy and assistance to your nation and mankind. This outpouring is again offered to enfold the IAM, students who will give it recognition and acceptance. Whenever you think of the 390 the IAM 99 discourses. Light, walk, as it were, into the heart center of this sphere of blazing white fire, the outer radiance of blue lightning of divine love, and enfolded in your higher mental body, feel its dazzling presence about you. Speak your decrees from within that powerhouse of creation, for this is a focus around you when your attention is held upon your higher mental body. Then you will feel its mighty love and protecting care. Then your devotion to the light goes forth in a call for the assistance of the cosmic light to come to the earth. This enfolding sphere of white fire and the blue lightning of divine love, is the amplification and enfolding presence from the great central sun around your own individual life streams, calling for more assistance to the earth. If you will remember to enter into this sphere of white fire before you give your decrees, you will find that the decrees sent forth from within its heart will go to their destination clothed in the white fire and the cosmic blue lightning of divine love from the great central sun. And be sustained in cosmic action to their completion of the perfection for which you call. To enter into this powerhouse of life consciously and of your own free will, abiding within it and sending forth your decrees from within your conscious awareness of that light and the white fire element in that great cosmic blue lightning of divine love. Discourse 8 391. From the great central sun, enables you to feel more readily the pressure and the cosmic power of light. Then will you more readily understand and feel what your words, TAM, the only presence acting, mean in bringing forth the power to produce manifestation which overcomes human distress. When you say, I am, I am, I am. By all of God's love I know, I am the only presence acting, feel your higher mental body enfolding you instantly. Feel that sphere of white fire enfolding you, the outer radiance of blue lightning of divine love, and then know, I am, the victory of that light. This will enable us to pour forth on your decrees a cosmic action of that white fire and blue lightning, which will enable them to be fulfilled with very much greater speed and force of action. Now I wish, if you care to accept the idea, that you would charge your hands, your feet, the radiation of your bodies with the power of the blue lightning of purity and divine love from the great central sun. Use those exact words, to command and to compel everything you touch to become instantly self-luminous, and as pure as the heart of the goddess of purity. Then follow with whatever other ascended master qualities you desire, and my cosmic flame of cosmic victory, so that you give recognition to the fact that our light passing through your body, is of such cosmic power and magnitude that it changes. 392 The, IAM, Discourses T. Everything you contact into the perfection of that which is self-luminous, in other words, that which radiates light. This will have a tremendous power of blessing, and you will find it much easier to keep the things in your world in perfect divine order, as you realize that within your life and the flame of God's love from your heart, 
you have the power to bless everything you touch. Into the luminosity or purity of life's perfection, into the luminosity and victory of my heart's flame. You may charge what you will, my beloved ones, into that energy as it goes forth from your hands. You may produce what you will, when you feel deeply that the light from above goes through you, and the light is the action of all perfection, or rather, is the manifestation of all perfection, and you as the flame, are the intelligence which sends it forth. Oh, my dear ones, you have so long felt that you had the power in your hands to do these outer things. Sometimes, when you chose to use the energy of your life stream to mechanically do something, for instance take the lid off of something, you twist it, you make that substance do your will. You have used your own life energy, which is the light from your higher mental body, to do these physical things. In the name of God, won't you feel that you have the same power through the same life, to command things to become pure and self-luminous, perfect, and victorious in? Discourse 8. 393. The F-U-L-F-I-L-L-M-E-N-T of the Divine Plan. What other way would there be of doing it? Can you do anything or has anybody anything else to use but life? Can you do anything through your physical body with anything except your own life, your own energy? Can you do anything through your physical body with somebody else's energy? Certainly not. It is the flame in your heart which is the director of that energy, not the energy in someone else's radiation. You are the directing intelligence of whatever energy you use, whether it be within your own physical forms, the radiation in the atmosphere about you, or in mechanical apparatus through which energy flows. You have plenty of feeling, my dear ones, to compel substance to do your will when you are handling something mechanical. If some parts of your automobile don't work, you compel them to come apart, and when you want to make them break loose, you turn on plenty of energy. You use your intelligence to produce whatever leverage you need, to compel that substance to do your will. How much do you will things to become as pure as the heart of the goddess of purity? Do you know what would be in your world if you exerted the same amount of physical strength and energy upon the substance of your clothing, as the things that you do in the mechanical operation of something you want to make do what you desire? If you turned. 394 The, I A M, Discourses T. On that same amount of feeling and physical force to call forth purity and perfection into that substance to make itself luminous, it would shine like the sun at noonday. You have no concept of the energy and strength you have all used through physical means, and if you can make physical substance do your will, then you can make that physical substance become God's self-luminosity and purity, if you want it to. If you will turn on the same amount of steam, so to speak, in the power to purify and illumine things, that you have to compel by physical force something inanimate to do or go where you want it to, by the power of God, you could illumine the earth in no time. If all mankind would use their energy that way. When you see the energy through people's physical bodies in a ball game make that ball go where they want it to. In the name of God, what would you have if you turned on that much pressure and energy into purifying something you want to become self-luminous? I, like others, say to you again, mankind do not yet know what they do with energy. And I have come this afternoon to charge your feeling world with a relentless determination to command everything you touch to become my cosmic victory of the light, with the same force, pressure, and concentration of action that you do in the mechanics of your automobiles, for instance. You know when you weed your. Discourse 8. 395. Garden, if a weed has a long root and is very stubborn, you tug and you tug and you tug, and you never think of quitting, until you get the thing out of there. Did you ever tug that much on your own bad habits? I don't think so, although you have done very well. I am not criticizing or condemning your bad habits, that is your affair, and I am ready to help you cut and pull them out, but you don't know how much determination you have. Since, I am, victory, I am, all determination, and my determination is light. It is self-luminosity, oh, my dear ones, I hope you feel the pressure this afternoon of my cosmic determination to set you free. To keep you sealed in this great blazing sphere of white fire and the blue lightning of divine love, until you move forward into all of the victory of my heart, which I want you to have. I am, your victory. Remember I said that long ago. I said you were my friends of the light, I am, your victory. If you continue to acknowledge, I am, 
the luminosity of this for which I call, you would have it. Oh, my dear ones, you don't know what goes forth from you in one fierce, sudden decision and flare of feeling, in the determination to have a thing your own way. Oh, in heaven's name, if you only could have my way of victory with that same determination, all the nations of the world could not stop you. Now victory, remember, is light. If you are going. 396 The, I A M, Discourses T. To be my family of victory, my legions of victory, pardon me, you are Saint Germain's family, but you are my legions, but if you are going to have victory, you must have light. So just make up your minds what fierce determination it requires in the midst of the shadows to compel the light forth. Now remember, you as the authority and directing intelligence of the unfed flame within your hearts, are always authority over all that is of the darkness. The darkness is not God authority. Please remember that. Only the light is the God authority of this universe. Selfishness is not light. Therefore, it is not authority. Therefore, it is not victory. The light is authority, and by your conscious command and directing intelligence, you can draw light into darkness. You can command that light to expand without any limit whatsoever, and wherever it expands, the darkness ceases to be. You can make it brighter and brighter, as bright as you like. There is no end to the brightness of light, and no limit to the intensity of that light you wish to call forth. Then there is no limit to my victory, is there? I told you I had come to bring you victory. I told you that you could not have victory without forgiveness, because forgiveness is a light through your feelings which makes the shadows let go. The cosmic love of my victory is a flash of light through your feelings that compels the shadows to flee. Your Acknowledgement Discourse 8. 397. Of my cosmic flame of cosmic victory, is my flame flashing through you and expanding into the atmosphere about you until there are no more shadows, until all substance is self-luminous. Now this is why I ask you to take the consciousness of COMMANDING everything you contact to become self-luminous, as pure as the heart of the goddess of purity, and my cosmic flame of cosmic victory. If you are going to have divine order in your world, if you are going to have cleanliness, if you are going to have perfection, if you are going to have protection, if you are going to have the fulfillment of the divine plan, then this light of my victory must abide where the shadows now seem to be. My cosmic flame of cosmic victory must take the place of every shadow on the planet, and one day it shall. The words you have been using in your recent, I A M, decrees, the ascended master's immediate and victorious end of this war, say in other words, the ascended master's immediate and blazing victory in the place of the war, but it cannot come without your acknowledgement. Mankind in their hearts want the freedom and the victory for which we stand, but if they won't use the authority of their own life streams, use the great creative word, I A M, and acknowledge the light they want and the victory that they want and the freedom that they want. How can they have it, when they go on? 398 The, I A M, Discourses T. Acknowledging the opposite. Now then, the thing that holds mankind in the clutches of destructive forces, is the fear imposed upon them by selfishness, and their own doubt of the light of their own life. While to a large degree that has been imposed on them too, yet every heart knows that the life of the individual comes from somewhere into the physical body, and goes somewhere when it leaves the physical body. Therefore, as you give acknowledgement, oh, many times a day, to my cosmic flame of cosmic victory flashing through your body, my cosmic power that makes things self-luminous, and as the directing intelligence in the flame in your own heart calls mine into action with yours. To command all things to become self-luminous with my victory, so shall it be established unto you. I can offer you no more. If you give the command, I will do my part, and your mighty IAM presence, and higher mental body will do their part, but the desire to do that and the remembrance of doing it often, must come from within you, of your own free will. Your memory has been trained to remember the shadows, when it knows very well it is not comfortable in anything except the light, but I say to you, your memory has the capacity to remember all the light it wants to, when you hold authority over that memory and command it to remember to do these. Discourse 8. 399. Things which set you free. Most of the time you have had the feeling that you were subject to the action of your memory, when just the reverse is the truth. You can run your memory or let your memory run you, whichever you want. But when you say, 
I don't R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R. -E -E well then, you surely don't. But if you say, my memory does retain this thing, or, I command my feeling and mind to forget this thing, oh, my dear ones, you will be free. It is part of my victory to you, to remind you to C-O-M-M-A-N-D your intellect to stop remembering anything that is of the shadows. Now many of you have struggled under the habit of letting old things come forward to hold your attention again, things that were mistakes in the past, and yet which come forward and remind you of themselves. That is just a subtle activity of suggestion, to try and ruin today's energy with something that took place years or months ago. When anything comes to your mind that did not produce perfection in the past, take your stand right then and say, no you don't. My, mighty I am presence, is my eternal divine memory and knows you not. I am, the cosmic electrifying presence of the blue lightning which annihilates you in my memory. I replace you by victory's cosmic flame of cosmic victory. Never again do you touch any part of life. Go into the violet flame. Blaze, thou blue lightning of divine love. Dissolve and consume every record of that. 400 The, I am, discourses T. Same quality in the consciousness of the whole world, and of all mankind. You will in a very short time, my dear ones, feel yourselves released from many things under which you struggle this hour, but you cannot keep on acknowledging in spoken word and accepting in the feeling, the shadows of conditions which do not produce perfection. And then expect manifestations of the miracles of light. Now let us leave that subject. I have given you the explanation of the law, and you know what to do. Now let us move forward in the acknowledgement of miracles, miracles so called, but in reality only the manifestation of the perfection of life, in its cosmic action of this physical world. Will you try for the coming week to give acknowledgement in everything you do, to my cosmic flame of cosmic victory and miracles of perfection is the only thing you accept? I might call again next Sunday. Thank you so much. I ask that you remember to qualify everything you touch with the great cosmic miracles of the victory of peace throughout the world, and the illumination of the minds of mankind through that victory, so never again can a shadow register upon you or your worlds. Then we shall move forward to the victory which has to come throughout the world. Thank you, beloved ones. TV aren't you be seated. Discourse 8. 401. A-C-K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E -E Two things the victory of illumination and the miracles of perfection, to put an end to the shadows throughout the world forever. Oh, my dear ones, if every spot on this planet could have even physical electric lights brought into every locality, and then blaze brighter, brighter, and brighter until physical electricity were in every darkened corner of this planet, mankind's discord could not survive. Even in the presence of that physical light, would it have to cease and give way to the authority of that which naturally raises all life? and K-N-O-W-S the shadows have no right to exist. Now do you understand that nothing has a right to exist on this planet but the light? All else is energy or the radiation from the flame which has been covered over with the discord. I have many reasons back of why I am making this request today. There is great service you may render to the beings of the elements, when you get the feeling within you of the master power of the light within your own life stream the victory of my flame of victory, and the power of light which you have. To project into a condition and command its substance to become self-luminous, and as pure as the heart of the goddess of purity. Remember victory is purity, then you become the purifying presence to all the beings of nature. When you draw forth this power of light to this intensity. 402 The, I A M, Discourses. T. You become the freeing presence to the forces of the elements which have so long served you and have taken such frightful impurity upon themselves. Now is your opportunity to reverse that and release them, and to put light where shadows seem to be, to put the miracles of perfection where struggle appears, and to make those blessed beings of the elements your mighty. Mighty friends of the light to bring you anything and everything you require to fulfill the divine plan and produce the manifestations here to illuminate the earth once again and make it a thing of beauty and joy forever because the song of the light is the anthem of creation. My dear people, you have all power to make things self-luminous. Hear me today, use my cosmic flame of cosmic victory and you shall see the manifestation of the fulfillment of my words. Command all things to become pure, self-luminous, into divine order, and everything become a manifestation of beauty and perfection, 
and the heavens are yours. Begin with these bodies first. It is part of your duty to purify these bodies to the place where they are self-luminous. Much of what you struggle under does not belong to you. There is a great deal of substance in your bodies which does not belong to your life streams at all, and that is where I stand ready, as do the Divine Director, your beloved Saint Germain, and Blessed Godfrey, to help take away from you, all. Discourse 8. 403. Substance that does not belong to your life streams. It is necessary, so necessary, that you be given this use of the great cosmic sphere, that great individualized sphere of the white fire and blue lightning of divine love from the great central sun, focused A-R-O-U-N-D yourselves. Feel yourselves moving within it, issue your decrees through it, and sing your music through it. Do everything through your sphere of white fire and blue lightning of divine love from the central sun. Then you hold a protection around the physical body, and you become a focus of power and action of the fire element, right here in the physical octave, which begins the illumination of the substance, as I have described to you. You have to be fully conscious and feel within yourselves that you move in this sphere of white fire and blue lightning of divine love, before the higher mental body will release through you the greater intensity of light and the sacred fire required. To remove from the things of the physical world the qualities which prevent them being self-luminous, because when these greater powers are drawn forth from your own life streams, they are released from your higher mental bodies and that power is used through yourselves. The acceptance and the feeling of calling forth the great cosmic sun or sphere of white fire and blue lightning of divine love from the great central sun. 404 The, I A M, Discourses T. Around yourselves, form the cosmic protection about you while you are using the mighty powers of your own higher mental body in the physical activity today. These are the things that mankind call, miracles, but are nothing on earth but the action of energy, life, and light within substance, with the command to produce certain definite results. This greater protection must be drawn about you before some of these manifestations could be permitted. Now, as the beloved goddess of light said to the Minutemen this morning, this does not take the place of your mighty electronic tube of ascended master light substance. You abide within that just the same. Your tube of light and circle of blue flame, the violet flame and everything you have drawn forth, go on in action just the same, for those are your life's activities. As you accept this cosmic sphere of white fire and blue lightning of divine love, those activities take place within this sphere, and you are enfolded in its cosmic action which goes forth to bless all mankind on the planet and the forces of the elements. As well as the individual thing you are doing or through which you draw this stream of greater power for victory. I think it is necessary for me to clear something which seems to again want to cast a shadow upon mankind's understanding. When the Goddess of Light finished taking the discarnates out of New York City. Discourse 8. 405. And the psychic substance from over America, when North America was cleansed of that psychic substance, the IAM student body were told no more discarnates would be allowed to stay in the atmosphere over North AMERICA, nor will they. So don't accept that there are any more entities bothering you. No more discarnate entities. There might be plenty of human creation which does not look very pleasant, but don't let anybody under this radiation go on with any more acceptance that the discarnate of anybody is coming along and bothering after that one has gone out of the body, because he or she cannot. The door was closed against that condition in America when that work was finished, notwithstanding anything claimed by the spiritualists. That condition became so frightful, and there has been so much viciousness perpetrated upon mankind through those activities, that the cosmic law in its great mercy to the earth, at the intercession of your beloved Saint Germain, Kuthumi, and many of the other ascended ones who made the call that the door be closed, and since, I am, victory, I should know. Now don't let anybody tell you that this, that, or the other person is still hanging around. You might see your own thought forms or some hate creation, but the discarnates themselves, as soon as they are taken out of the body, are taken out and are compelled to stay out of the atmosphere of the Americas. 406 The, I A M, Discourses T. A great many of you in your outline classes have gone on with the entity decree for the rest of the world, and that as well. Please keep that up, until the cosmic law sees fit to close the door because with your calls, it can and will be done to prevent any more discarnates staying anywhere in the earth. 
When people leave the body, they are compelled to go into the upper atmosphere, and they are being handled by the ascended masters who govern the activities of those life streams, but make your calls to leave no more of that thing in the atmosphere of earth to cause distress to mankind. Now if there are things talking to you, shut them off. That is nothing on earth but suggestion. It makes no difference what they say, tell them to shut up. I am going to take something up and be very severe. You might think I am terrifically dynamic, and so I am but there are certain forces and hate creations around individuals which, mark you, are part of their own life. It is consciousness, but those creations are so vicious in their nature that you can say, go away, until the end of time, and they stay right there and pay no attention to you because they are so terrifically stubborn. They are charged with stubborn feeling, but you can suddenly say, shut up, and get out of here, and what is that? It is like a flash of blue lightning right into those creations, with enough force to shatter their hold upon you, or upon the condition. Discourse 8. 407. Of other individuals you wish to help. That is why this messenger, as well as the beloved Godfre, have been so frightfully criticized for some of the language they use, but I tell you, none of you would have survived if they had not. Thank you so much. I charge that with your victory and their victory and the victory of all life everywhere, into the light forever. Thank you so much, won't you be seated? Now there are some times, a great many times in fact, when through a sudden sharply spoken word, not with irritation, but with terrific force which is in agreement with the law of the light, you can make vicious human creation let go at once. When you come up against a vicious condition or a creation around someone, a sudden spoken command like the one I just spoke of, shut up, or, get out of here, acts like you had thrown a stick of dynamite into the center of the thing and shattered it. Then it is easy enough to command it into the violet consuming flame, but sometimes it takes a terrific shock to loosen the hold of those creations upon the emotional body of an individual, especially where they have held it for years. That is where many times this messenger as well as the beloved Godfrey have released terrific power into those conditions. Jesus himself did it when he spoke to those frightful conditions in the individuals who. 408 The, I A M, Discourses T. Were insane, when he said, Come out of them. He spoke with authority, and he spoke in no gentle voice, I will guarantee you that, because those creations know when you are their master, and no master in a condition of that kind ever is anything less than dynamically positive. That is why if there are voices talking to you, and suggesting this or that, and you see unpleasant things, say, shut up. Get out of here, I am, the purity of the heart of God, I know you not. Then say to the, presence, raise your sword of blue flame and strike the blue lightning into that and annihilate it from the universe. Do not let it touch any other part of life. Oh, my dear ones, you can be free as sure as you draw your next breath, when you are determined to clear all human qualities away from yourselves. It does not make any difference who a human creation belongs to, where it came from, or anything of the kind, if it is not self-luminous perfection, you don't want it. Then why leave it here to annoy some other part of life? All life is one. All substance is one. All energy is one. All consciousness is one. Therefore, Whatever you do to annihilate human qualities and conditions in your own beings and worlds, immediately ask that they be annihilated from the universe and never touch any other part of life again. Then you move forward the authority of that cosmic love which is so great, it. Discourse 8. 409. Loves the whole and is ready to assist the whole and stand by to assist until the completion of the victory. You must live for the whole and love the light more than anything else. If you love the light most, you will always call it into action whenever you see the shadows. But if you let your attention go to the shadows, for that moment, you are loving the shadows, because you are drawing them back into yourself by your attention, and your attention is an activity of life. Did you know your attention is the magnetic attraction of the energy of your life stream, and if you let it rest on something that is destructive, then you have reached out, as it were, the hand of your life and drawn back to yourself that which the attention contacts. I could talk to you from now until next Sunday when I come again, on the attention, and show you what has been done through it, but what I am trying to get you to do now is to arouse the determination in you, so you qualify everything you contact, whether it be your feet, hands, or eyes. 
your attention, thought, or feeling. Qualify everything with the purity, the luminosity, the victory, my cosmic flame of victory, of perfection and miracles without limit, and move forward with that master authority which makes the shadows flee before your approach. One day you must come to the point where the 410 the IAM discourses T. Light about you is so great and so dazzling in its intensity, that the minute anything of human creation looks into that light, it is gone instantly. Then will the human let you alone, because all human creation knows the moment the light appears, it is its annihilation, and there won't be any battle between the light and the darkness. The light moves in, and the darkness is annihilated. There is no battle, because one alone is authority and that is the light. I want you to feel my determination today, which is part of my life's flame of victory. I think you could stand some of my life's flame in the atmosphere over this city today. You can command it to become self-luminous. You can make your calls that all substance over this city be so charged with the blue lightning from the great central sun, that not one human thing remains. And beloved Helios will assist you as well. He has answered your calls many times recently. I have watched him. I have watched your calls go forth and the answer come through. Oh, my dear ones, just acknowledge the power, power, power of L-I-G-H-T, T-H-E power, power, power of victory, and if need be, charge yourselves with the Ascended Master's cosmic flame of cosmic determination to accept nothing but the light and the Ascended Master's eternal divine memory, which gives you the reminder to often charge the great blazing light into everything. Discourse 8. 411. You are victorious, my beloved ones. Don't you ACCEPT for one second, anything but the victory of the light for which you call. The power of light for which you call. The protection of light, the opulence of light. Light stands ready to flood you every moment with all that is within its heart. The ascended masters, the great cosmic beings, the great angelic host, the great beings from the central sun, the great central sun itself, every being of the fire element and the great cosmic light, your own, mighty IAM presence, and higher mental bodies and those of all mankind, are always ready at any moment to help you flash the light, to expand its perfection and its miracles, to blaze through you their victory, to give you all of their qualities, to release through you their mastery, and make you the fullness of the perfection which is the divine plan's fulfillment. With all of this assistance to give you everything that life holds with which to make you happy and give you your victory, I say no more acceptance to the shadows. With all that is in creation, light is ready to answer you on the moment. My dear ones, let no more of your attention rest on the shadows. Command the light to take the place of every shadow, and the cosmic light is of thousands of suns to enter into the structure of the earth and make all things self-luminous with the fulfillment of the divine plan, and war or no war you will find. 412 The, IAM, Discourses T. Cosmic beings coming to your assistance who will help you to win this victory of light, and hold freedom for the earth as Saint Germain commands. Teach the children to acknowledge only the victory of light in everything they contact, and on their pathway they will know no struggle and no problems. If a child's habits are set from babyhood, until the time the child is 10 or 12 or even 7 or 8 years of age, in acknowledging the release of everything by the power and victory of light. Commanding all things to become self-luminous with miracles of perfection, by the time the child is 14 years of age, or a little older when the higher mental body at about 18 begins to enter in, he or she will be able to win victories everywhere. Then whatever creations are in that life stream, as they come forward for redemption, won't stand much chance of interfering with that life stream's perfection because those habits established in childhood will take up every one of those things as they come forth and annihilate them and go forward into eternal victory. That is why this activity came forth for St. Germain's, IAM, Miracle Temples and, IAM, Schools, because they are so much needed to free mankind from the human accumulation, and that from which they cannot free themselves until they know this law of the, IAM. Those of you who were here last night, we're surely aware of the power in the Discourse 8. 413. I am, music which our beloved Frederick played. In three quarters of an hour of that sound going forth into the room, your emotional bodies were quiet, you were at ease, there was an inner stillness, 
and an ad UNEMENT took place within the light of your life STREAMS which does not come except THROUGHTHIS, IAM, music. When you realize what can be done to still the DISCORDANT rates of vibration through the use of the IAM, miracle music of the spheres, my dear ones. You will never know until your ascension what a great opportunity lies before you this hour to bless all through the power of this IAM, music, with the cosmic flame of cosmic victory in its illumining presence. As it sweeps over a city or nation, that flame burns away human selfishness and discord, and awakens mankind to their own IAM presence. It makes it impossible to control anybody by hypnotic suggestion. It is my power of victory that must be called forth to annihilate hypnotic control and suggestion, and to let that cosmic flame which, I A M, take the place of all human suggestions of the shadows which have been imposed upon the life streams of mankind upon this earth. So shall it be, and we shall move forward into greater and greater victory each hour. As you approach the seven sacred weeks, the mighty cosmic action of love and light will be. 414 The, I A M, Discourses T. Released by Beloved Jesus, Beloved Mary, and the Mighty Elohim of Peace. You will find that cosmic pressure called forth in addition to my victory, my flame of victory, which I have offered. In the acceptance of this assistance from the Great Central Sun, you will find the pressure of light increasing hourly for all who will accept it and call it forth. One day, you must stand within it and know that your, mighty IAM presence, your acknowledgement of the cosmic light and the sacred fire are enough for you. Then through you, will blaze the feeling of your mastery over outer conditions. Until that hour comes, we stand guard and render every assistance through radiation and otherwise, as well as instruction, to bring you to the point where you feel the power of your own light, and you watch it go forth and perform according to your command. The day that you see it and feel it at the same time, and know that this sphere of white fire and blue lightning of divine love stands around you, then will you know what the authority of your life stream means, and what is ahead of you in the victory of your own mastery. Thank you for your efforts during this past week in acknowledging your victory. Go on, and I say try to acknowledge it more often. Everything you touch, command it to become my cosmic flame of cosmic victory to make itself luminous, and command it to bless everything in creation with my victory also. Discourse 8. 415. And we shall move forward. The shadows shall flee at your approach, and the light claim all into its H-E-A-R-T, the heart of my victory forever, for, I am, Saint Germain's victory, and his freedom to the earth forever. Thank you so much. Discourse V. December 3, 1944. C-H-I-C-A-G-O, Illinois. My beloved family of victory, from cosmic heights tonight there flows to you more and more of the cosmic flame of my love, my forgiveness, and my victory victory that shall enter into you, into every atom of your beings and worlds, and become the structure of your bodies. Become the outpouring of your minds and your feelings, become the manifestations of the victory for which you call. From great cosmic heights does there flow this cosmic flame of cosmic victory, infinite and overwhelming to all upon earth which is not of the light, victory of which mankind have not as yet ever dreamed, victory of such cosmic power, such terrific force. Such almighty action as shall still the activity of every vibratory rate on this planet which is not of the light. I wish you to feel deeply the mighty cosmic flame from the great heights of victory to which I call, and from which flows forth constantly to the people of earth, all that is required to compel victory on every hand if individuals will be the open door and let that. 416. Discourse 8. 417. Cosmic flame flow with full conscious acceptance. Unless you accept the cosmic flame which produces victory, could you have victory in your physical experience? Since, I am, the director of that cosmic flame to the earth, the twelve who came with me are the cosmic guard of that flame, and my legions direct it everywhere at your call. Surely you have ascended master friends of cosmic victory, who stand ready to make everything you touch become the cosmic flame of victory, if you will so decree it. Nothing is victory except perfection and there is no imperfection on this planet which can stand before the cosmic flame of victory, which comes from those cosmic realms of the fire element and concentrates that element to any specific point when you call. If you want victory, you must consciously say so, 
and consciously direct the power of your own life streams, because you are the authority over the energy and the substance in your beings and worlds. Unless you will specify to your mighty IAM presence, and to the directing intelligence of the various beings who direct this world, unless you will say you want a concentration of victory at any particular point, the power of victory lies quiescent. Unless you make yourselves the focus into which it can be concentrated and directed where you will, it does not act for you. 418 The IAM Discourses T. Victory does not act in the world of human affairs unless harmony is maintained. Therefore, you who are moving in the outer world of discord, must consciously call forth the cosmic flame of victory, command it to its destination, and say whether you want it sustained and expanded or not, to give us the open door through which to bring into the physical world. That which sets you free. I want to bring you assistance tonight, assistance to your bodies. If you will remember, last year it was well along into January before you called Toledo and the Divine Director to release their cosmic powers, which stopped the conditions in your throats, under which you were struggling. Supposing we begin earlier this year, you might just as well have three or four weeks of comfort as distress, and it is easier on yourselves and your neighbors too. So from tonight on, will you call forth the cosmic healing flame of my victory? Had you ever thought of my healing power? I think you have thought of me as victory over world conditions, or perhaps your business or success, but I am quite certain you have not. Very many of you, realize that I also direct tremendous healing power. The victory of health is quite as important as the victory of wealth or any other victory. I could show you the results of what the victory of my forgiveness could be to your bodies and your affairs. I could. Discourse 8. 419 show you what the victory of my love could do in your bodies in a few hours. I could show you that the cosmic victory which is my momentum of hundreds of thousands of centuries, is a concentrated action of the fire element that can burn away anything to which I direct it, but there must come within you the definite command of your own life streams. Using the authority of the great creative word, I am, and say to life, first, to your, mighty I am presence, then the ascended masters, definitely what you want. Then, we can draw it forth to assist your, mighty IAM presence, to hold perfection in your worlds permanently, and that is the only thing which we consider victory. Temporary release, my beloved ones, from distressing conditions is not victory. I represent permanent perfection. That is why I have come tonight to give you my weekly charge of the flame from my temple of victory, which means permanent perfection in your world. You have all many times had a certain amount of harmony and a certain amount of comfort and accomplishment, a certain amount of happiness, but something took it away from you again, didn't it? Well, why not this time let us qualify it with my cosmic victory of hundreds of thousands of centuries, and if you choose to charge my cosmic flame of victory into all the substance and energy of your 420 the IAM discourses T worlds and command it to glow and become self-luminous, command it to continue to expand without limit, know that it is eternal. Once you feel the manifestation of perfection, seize it and say, you are mine forever. Then will I say to you, I know you. Then will I recognize that the master in you, your higher mental body, has taken its dominion through those flesh forms permanently, and has announced that its authority is in action. I wish, this week, that you would not acknowledge anything but the eternal, cosmic, ever-expanding victory of my perfection, and let us see how much ease we can give you in those bodies in the coming week. Your victory, my loved ones, is imperative in America if our cosmic flame of victory is to fill your land, and correct conditions which otherwise will destroy that which Saint Germain and the Great Ones have given you. The mass of the people want ease and release from distress, but they do not know the law whereby they can call into outer action the permanent victory which must come, if the divine plan is to be fulfilled. Therefore, you who know this law are the hope of the world. You understand the law, it is up to you to issue the command, send forth the decree in the authority of the words, I am, for permanent victory, eternal victory, if you please, to expand in its almighty manifestation. Command that. Discourse 8. 421. It has already taken possession of the United States of AMERICA and her people, her resources, and her destiny. Stand ready to defend her light until it expands to cover the three Americas, expands again to cover the earth, 
and closes in upon all that is of discord and consumes it. Victory, my beloved ones, is always the action of the sacred fire, because temporary domination by destructive forces is not victory. That is stolen authority and is nothing but hypnotic control. When I come in the tangible body to reveal the victory of all centuries to come, to the people of America and the world, I bring the fire of love and forgiveness. I bring the sustaining action of life with a cosmic pressure that automatically passes through all things, and burns away all that has no right to exist through the centuries to come. Do you know, nothing has a right to exist on this earth unless it is my victory, which means the perfection of the divine plan fulfilled and manifested, in ever-expanding glory for all eternity. That is what I represent to the earth. I represent eternal, expanding perfection of the divine plan made manifest, and freedom and victory are twin brothers. Now there is something for you to contemplate. That is why I love your Saint Germain. Since your mighty Saint Germain chose to try out his experiment of bringing this, I am, knowledge. 422 The, I am, discourses T. Into the outer world, if you will remember, the beloved Nada and I stood with him. I still stand with him, and I stand with his family of light. I stand to make everything in America the purity, the love, and the forgiveness which enables the light of perfection to bring forth the fulfillment of the divine plan throughout this nation, and keep itself luminous and expanding throughout all time to come. Therefore, I have chosen of my own free will to help your beloved Saint Germain to cleanse the earth, so victory, which, I am, may reign everywhere and bring Saint Germain's freedom to all life on this earth. Will you remember me this week? It is not much to ask to remember someone who loves you, someone who gives you release from all distress, someone who gives you what you cannot obtain for yourselves as yet, someone who has your good at heart and knows the destiny to which you must attain, and is trying to help you attain it. Could you not remember me this week? Will you try? Will you try to keep your attention upon me and the cosmic flame of victory which I represent to the earth? If you will, I think I can come back to you in many ways which will make you realize that the victory for which you are calling is a very tangible, practical, ever-present manifestation, which you can have act through everything, as you make the call and keep your attention upon the Discourse 8. 423. F-U-L-F-I-L-L-M-E-N-T of Y-O-U-R call. I said, I am, victory, and victory casts no shadows. Therefore, this coming week will you keep your attention upon my light of victory, and not remember the shadows. Let us see if you can do it. I should not have to come to you every Sunday in order to remind you of my presence. I would like to have you R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R -E -E me every day. I may not intrude, but if you will remember me, you know it is coming Christmas time, and I might have many gifts for you. Thank you, my family of light. You are really loyal to the family name. Thank you so much, precious ones. I offer that to your beloved Saint Germain, and I offer it to the mighty Elohim of peace for the victory of world peace to come swiftly throughout the world. Thank you, precious ones. Won't you be seated, please? One of the victories I want you to have is complete release immediately in these bodies from all distress. Thank you so much. I think we will set that flame into action. Oh, my loved ones, you have no idea how my cosmic flame of cosmic victory can burn away all substance which is not pure and of the light. I wish you might experiment with something. You could not do this unless you were by yourselves at least for one day, with no intrusion from the outer world. 424 The, I A M, Discourses T. But I wish you might experiment with singing my song of victory, and just acknowledging victory in everything you do just for one day qualifying it with my victory, charging all the substance in your world, and refusing acceptance to everything but my victory. You can do it. You don't quite realize your authority over substance, my dear ones, nor your power of qualification. You have the power, do you not, to put gasoline in your automobiles, pour it in there. You have the power to put your foot on the pedal, push the gas pedal, you have the power to run that automobile where you please, even if it is up a lamp post. Of course that is not victory, but you do have the power of qualification to direct the energy and the gasoline to do what you want it to do. Well then, do you deny me the right to direct the flame of love from my heart into anything which is causing your distress, and to turn it out and say, I have come to abide, you must be gone. 
You see, you do have the power to qualify all the energy in your world, all the substance in your world with whatever you call forth, whether it be from your IAM presence, or whether it be from an ascended master or cosmic being. You do have the power to call forth whatever quality you want, and charge it into anything you desire to produce whatever that quality will outpicture. Well, since my cosmic flame. Discourse 8. 425. A victory is far more comfortable than some of your problems and some of your bodies, you ought to remember me at least for one day. I want to give you the experience of feeling yourselves blazing with my cosmic flame of cosmic victory in everything you do, for just one day, that the comfort, the joy, the feeling, and the mastery of that experience will bring such tremendous power to you, that you will never forget it again. And you will never cease to make your calls. Then, I can do certain things for you which move you forward, the victory of your heart's call. There was some discussion tonight about my coming. Several of the other ascended masters had much to give you. They all insisted that I keep my promise for my weekly visit with you, so I am here to bring you my victory, my cosmic flame which never produces anything but victory. You cannot possibly lose by associating with me. Thank you so much. Now while you are standing, may I consider myself your guest for the week. Thank you so much. I trust I shall arrive early in the morning, but without baggage. Won't you be seated? I shall, however, be accompanied by my cosmic flame which is just me, and so I shall have to have room for that to stay where I am. I trust your homes are large, your business ready to receive me, and I shall just come in like the sunshine does through. 426 The IAM Discourses T. The window. I don't need a key to the front door. I shall just come in, and make you warm and comfortable, happy and luminous, if you will let me, for I shall go to work on the substance of your world. If you will make your calls, I shall help you requalify all the substance in your worlds with my cosmic flame of cosmic victory, and you shall see many things occur that are what you would call miraculous solutions of your difficulties, but I insist that you remember me. Just charge your memory tonight before you go to sleep, with the command that it give acceptance to my cosmic flame of victory with every breath you breathe, with every heartbeat, in everything you do for the coming week, and does not once accept anything, any quality less than my victory. Now where? I am, Saint Germain is also, for we are twin brothers. Don't you remember Jesus' words when he said, Where, I am, there may ye be also. He said again, 1 a.m., in ye, ye are in me, and we are all together in the Father. I say to you tonight, I am, victory in you. Your call to me lets my cosmic flame through, and we too can be victory for America and the world, as you remember no other but me. I am, one with your, mighty I am presence, and higher mental body. I am, one with all the other ascended masters and cosmic beings. Therefore, when you remember me, you remember all, and, Discourse 8. 427. When you call to me, all will hear that call, and everything required in your world to produce victory will move into outer action as you give us your recognition and command everything else out of your beings and worlds forever. Now I have another gift. The angels of victory are very real beings, but they must be accepted, invited, called into action. Since they only do the will of love, may your love sent to them draw them into close association so close in your daily routine, that you are as aware of them as you are your hands and your feet. They are part of my victory. The twelve who came with me are the guardians of all the flame which comes forth in acknowledging victory. When your heart's call draws from your, mighty IAM presence, a release of the flame of love from its heart and sends that forth to produce victory for others. The twelve with me and the cosmic angels of cosmic victory observe that flame and clothe it with our love to make it unchangeable as it passes through the atmosphere of earth to its destination. Therefore, when you call forth the cosmic flame of cosmic victory, from either your own, mighty IAM presence, or the ascended masters, we are aware of that, because it becomes part of the cosmic flame of cosmic victory for hundreds of thousands of centuries. I wonder if you can comprehend how great must be a flame which has grown during all that time, when 428 The IAM Discourses T I have had no other consciousness in my being and world but just the fire of victory. 
When one has lived so long and loved as intensely the action of the sacred fire which is victory to the earth forever, then my love and my cosmic flame of victory must be very great. I come to abide with you because I want you to know, be, feel, and experience all the joy that is mine, only since I became cosmic victory. When you enter into the heart of that flame and pour it forth in ever-expanding cosmic action, your joy each day grows greater, and you are concerned only with one thing, pouring that flame everywhere, so others may know the same joy which is yours. Then your victory becomes the heart of creation, and the cosmic flame, the cosmic love from each life stream flows forth to unite with that great cosmic flame of cosmic victory everywhere. When I see mankind struggling in the outer, and know that I abide within this cosmic flame of cosmic victory and happiness so great, I want them to be happy too. None can know it until they enter in. None can comprehend or understand how great is my joy since I have entered into the cosmic flame and become cosmic victory to the earth, until they too enter into that flame. When, I am, this happiness of cosmic victory, and I see mankind struggling in these conditions of the outer world, I know that they can. Discourse 8. 429. Become this same cosmic flame of victory which, I am, just by turning their attention away from the distress and holding it in the center of the cosmic flame of victory. I know just by turning away from the shadows and entering in through their attention, they too can become and feel my happiness and be permanent victory in all they undertake. Oh, I so long to do more. I long so much to have mankind understand what their call to me can do for the earth. You who know this law, Understand the requirements of the cosmic law, so you can give the calls which enable this flame of cosmic victory to go forth. But the mass of mankind, until they are taught this law of the I am, do not have permanent victory. They have a shadow today and a little sunshine tomorrow, a shadow the next day. And like a pendulum, they swing and swing and swing and never stabilize anywhere, because they cannot until they know that glorious word, I am, understand where the mighty IAM presence, is, what it is, and what it can do for them. Until they see, know, and accept the reality of the mighty ascended masters, the cosmic beings, and the greater manifestations of the sacred fire in the universe about them, until they know all this, they are not stabilized within permanent happiness or perfection. The ceaseless swing of the energy is the thing that pulls the attention, my loved ones, either to the 430 the IAM, Discourses T. Heights of perfection and victory to which you can attain, or the opposite. Then say to that attention. Go into the heart of the flame of cosmic victory. Stay there for eternity and never look anywhere else. You can command your attention, your vision, and your feeling to go into the heart of the cosmic flame of my cosmic victory. There I shall receive you, and you then become that cosmic flame of cosmic victory to the rest of mankind, wherever you move. It is worth all the effort it takes to command everything in your beings and worlds to become my cosmic flame of cosmic victory. I shall help you to remember, to accept, to feel, and to issue your, I am, decrees, your commands for the cosmic flame of cosmic victory to surge everywhere into all the substance and energy of your worlds, into your consciousness. And into all consciousness, and release all that my victory is to the earth. I shall watch and assist you as you make the call until you feel my victory and send it forth to all. The garden of my heart is everywhere that my victory is called into action. So tonight as you remember to make this call before you enter sleep, as you give it your first recognition on awakening in the morning, keep acknowledging that victory from your beloved I am presence. Then turn your attention to me, commanding yourselves to enter into the heart of the cosmic flame of cosmic victory, and you shall. Discourse 8 431. Feel our permanent happiness, the light expand, and your struggle is no more. So from tonight, I shall be with you on your slightest call. I shall stand by and help you all until victory, victory, victory sounds throughout the ethers of earth, and calls every heart home, into the light of Saint Germain's freedom and the heart of the Elohim of purity, until all have become the victory of the divine plan fulfilled. So feel my love, my mantle of flame, my heart's call to your heart, so all the flame of cosmic victory that you know how to call forth, shall now enter into the substance of your beings and worlds, expand and go forth to free all in America. And through America the world, 
until the cosmic flame of cosmic victory, like a forest fire, has swept everywhere and burned out all that is not perfection and happiness forever. You are closer tonight than you have ever been before in the heart of victory. Decree it often, accept it, feel it, see it, be it, and command it forth to others. Keep your attention within that cosmic flame, and you shall move forward America's victory of the light. You shall be her guard and freedom, until the ascended ones come forth, visible and tangible, mankind's doubt, fear, selfishness, and discord have been consumed and replaced by my cosmic flame of cosmic victory, and Saint Germain's freedom and his. 432THE, IAM, Discourses T. Cosmic victory are complete forever. Thank you, beloved ones, for your love, for your acceptance, your joy, and victory tonight. I thank you. Discourse V. December 10, 1944. CHICAGO, Illinois. My beloved legions of victory, as I come this afternoon through the atmosphere of Earth, there floods a r o u n d u a great cosmic circle of pink flame, to make you feel the cosmic power which is within the cosmic love for which you call, for that is the first part of my victory. I told you some time ago that cosmic love, cosmic forgiveness, and cosmic victory were one, for you cannot have one without the other two. As I come into the atmosphere of Earth, it is like receiving a breath of fresh air to step into this room and find the radiance which is about you, and the calm happiness in your feelings. I want to thank you for that radiance in this room today, for I shall come with my legions and my beloved twelve this time to help cut away from you more quickly, some of the things which as yet have not let go of you. Some of you have not let go of them. Now let us today part company with all that has distressed you. The first fundamental of that is to give you the complete understanding, I mean complete at this. 433. 434 The, I A M, Discourses T. Time, which is as much as you can comprehend in the intellect, for I shall do the rest of what is required in your feelings. Please therefore, hold the harmony, go on with your decrees, and govern every feeling within your solar plexus. The moment it is not happy and the purity which you know should be there, then command it into the violet consuming flame, and you shall have release from some of the things which have been the cause of your distress for so long. I want to take up today the explanation of why, if you are to be free and have the use of these greater powers, you must be free from resentment. Our greater powers are standing above you like an ocean of blazing, dazzling light, so bright you can scarcely look into it. The cosmic flame and light substance awaits the opening to rush through you, and to fulfill your calls even as the words go forth. However, that must be held in abeyance until you, understanding the law consciously of your own free will, command that never again shall resentment register in your feelings. Now let us go deep into the explanation of this, so you may never forget it, for, I am, registering this in your brain structure in letters of living light, which you shall remember for eternity, and the radiation from which will go forth to assist others to a like freedom, because this illumination of which I speak is freedom for all mankind from all human. Discourse 8. 435. Selfishness and Discord. R-E-S-E-N-T-M-E-N-T -E -E is a frightful thing, my dear ones, and there is no such thing as righteous indignation. Res E-N-T-M-E-N-T -E -E against what you feel is unjust, or against that which seems to be wrong is hate, and the reason it is so subtle in its destructive activities upon you, if you allow it to exist in your feelings, is because when a condition is wrong and the individual feels resentful about it, that one feels justified in resenting it, and therein comes the trap, because resentment is hate, and nothing in all creation justifies you sending hate to any part of life in the universe, nor to substance. Why should you? when your life contains within it the power and directing intelligence by which you can correct the condition you resent. Resentment is the cause of illness. Resentment, my dear ones, is hate. Now please do not deceive yourselves longer. Therefore, with the knowledge which has been given in this, I am, activity, and your conscious acceptance and direction of the various activities of the sacred fire, by which you can burn out anything in this universe that is wrong, it is but a matter of application and continued effort. There is no situation on the planet which justifies resentment in your feelings. So today you must know the truth, 
and that truth will set you free if you will remember never again to resent anything which seems to be an injustice to. 436 The, I A M, Discourses T. You, because if you really accept the hand of your, presence, of the flame of love from your, I A M presence, which is beating your heart, if you believe you have a, presence, if you believe there is a law of forgiveness, if you believe there is a divine power of life which is greater than human wrong, then you should waste no time nor energy resenting the thing which the great powers of life in the universe around you can wipe out of existence at your call. Now then, as part of that same action of the law, I want to help release you from something else, help you release yourselves, rather. Many times in your association with each other, or mankind past or present, you have had lovely association with individuals for a time, and sometimes discord and unhappiness drove in, and then you have separated. Many times in the things which were exchanged during that time, when you contact or use them again, to most people they are but a reminder of the discord of the individual and the unhappiness, and your feeling is to get them out of your world. Well, where there has been great hate in those who do not know this law, that is the correct action, but my dear ones, you must remember you are dealing with life every moment, and life acts according to law. Life gives its energy through you to fulfill its divine plan, regardless of what else is in the world around you. Now if there have been unpleasant associations with. Discourse 8. 437. S-U-B-S-T-A-N-C-E of that sort, then those things have become R-E-M-I-N-D-E-R-S to you of distress. The way to free yourselves and to help the other life streams be free, whether you are still associated with them or not, is to take the things which were given you in love and happiness at the time when you were harmonious. And give the command that the good which came through the individual is now taken by your IAM presence, sustained and expanded forever, sent forth in victory, and held protected. In that way, you use every gift which has come from the higher mental body of the other person. You are cooperating with that higher mental body, and you use that which it gave of good as an opportunity to call forth the sustaining, expanding power of that good, and to have it protected and held victorious to bless all life. Then, that which was discordant can be purified, if you will but say to your, I am presence, and the, I am presence, of the other individual, I am, the cosmic law of forgiveness of all human selfishness and discord. T A M the cosmic law of forgiveness and consuming flame of all human consciousness. Simply give your command that everything discordant which occurred between you, is now seized by the angels of blue lightning and annihilated from the universe, cause, effect, record, and memory, so it can touch no other part of life and is replaced by the unfed flame, which takes possession therein. 438 The, I A M, Discourses T. Holds dominion forever use that part of your decree, take possession, produce perfection, etc. In this way, my dear ones, you will clear your life streams from all discord due to the connection with other life streams, with whom you have come in contact in this embodiment, sometimes in former ones. In that way, you will have complete release from all connection with the discordant creations of those life streams with whom you associated in the past. This is a far greater freeing activity than you know. Mankind still are held in their problems because they will not forgive. They will not give this God perfection of life of which I am speaking, to free the energy which has been qualified with discord in the past because of unpleasant association. Remember, if you are to be free, you must accept the management and the responsibility of directing and qualifying energy, because life is energy. Life acts under law, the law of life is the fulfillment of the divine plan and anything else but obedience to it, brings distress. Now when is your obedience to the divine plan going to be complete? That is for you to decide. If you have had unfortunate experiences in various channels, the masterful thing to do is to call on the law of forgiveness for all discord. Call to your, I A M presence, to reach its hand out, to bless, protect, expand, and sustain for eternity all that was good and perfect. If there was that which was unpleasant, ask your. Discourse 8. 439. P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E, -E, with the sword of blue flame in its hand, to strike into everything that was discordant, to wipe it out, not only from your world, but wipe it out of the life stream to whom it was attached. Because it was not the individual, never.
The individuality remains forever pure, because that is the identity of your life stream which is held within the unfed flame in your heart. It was the accumulation around the individual which did the discordant things. It is very much like a child who carries a little dog or cat in its arms. If someone comes up to it, and the cat or dog snarls at the other person, it sometimes injures the other person. The thing that did the damage was not the child, it was the animal creation. The same thing is true of full-grown human beings. The animal creations which are created in people's feeling world by resentment, are frightful to behold. Resentment is hate, and hate creates a thing of blackness with tentacles that will sap the energy from anything it can contact, and destroy everything it touches. Therefore, my loved ones, today, if you are to have the victory which I can give you, the victory which I want you to have, the victory which America requires, and the victory which is Saint Germain's freedom to America and the world, you must let go of resentment. There is no set of circumstances on the earth that justifies resentment, that ever. 440 The, IAM, Discourses T. Justifies any human being sending hate to some other part of life. Therefore, your freedom, your opportunity to free yourselves through being the law of forgiveness, is this application of which I am speaking, and that is to command every constructive thing which has ever come to you from any association, to be blessed by your own, mighty IAM presence. Expanded, protected, and sustained throughout eternity to give victory, blessing, and perfection to all. All energy not qualified with perfection, in your release of the cosmic flame of cosmic mercy and forgiveness to all energy, will be set free from all qualities of discord imposed upon it through a discordant experience. Therefore, if you are to be the flame of mercy, if you believe and mean your decree that, TAM, the cosmic law of forgiveness and consuming flame of all inharmonious action, then you will give the decree and call to your IAM presence to strike its sort of blue flame into all energy and substance that ever touches your life from any other life stream, and to release every human being from all discord imposed upon the energy of that one's life when it touches you. Now whether you are great enough to master your own feelings or not remains to be seen, but if you will do as I have explained, I will do my part, because some of your creations and some of those which have. Discourse 8 441. T-O-U-C-H-E-D your life streams in the past, will need the A-S-S-I-S-T-A-N-C-E of the Ascended Masters and Cosmic Beings, because some of those unfortunate creations have been in the channels of war in the past, and therefore are sustained by the mass feeling of war in the present. These things you can have cut away from you during the afternoon, if you will let go of them. If you will remember what your beloved Saint G-E-R-M-A-I-N said, Never enter sleep until you have sent to every human being who you have ever felt injured you, the divine love and blessing of your being. That is forgiveness. That is mercy. That is cosmic love. That is the release of the freedom and victory of light. That is the fulfillment of the divine plan. Now your feelings will not want to do this, but you have been shown the way and means by which your feelings, if they be discordant, can be commanded to stop the discord, can be commanded into the violet consuming flame, can be commanded to be purified. And the command of your presence releases the cosmic flame of cosmic harmony where the discord seemed to be. Do you know why your bodies are ill sometimes? Because you have not forgiven. You have not given God's love, purity, and peace to some of the energy that touched your world through those experiences. You have held that energy still qualified with the feeling of resentment, so it torments you until you will. 442 The IAM Discourses T Forgive it by the purity and freedom of your presence, and let the sacred fire pour forth as love and blessings to the rest of the universe. That is why the mighty goddess of liberty, the mighty Arcturus, and the beloved Jesus all gave the same decree, if necessary for the protection of America, the jewel in the heart of God, then that light as of a thousand suns shall descend into the earth and dissolve and consume, what? All human selfishness and discord. It will consume the discord from the energy you have held to yourselves qualified with resentment, with those hard feelings which are but hate to some part of life. Now I am here to help you release yourselves from it this afternoon. If someone does something to you that is vicious and unkind, you who know this law have the full cosmic authority and power of your beloved mighty IAM presence, of every ascended master and cosmic being, and you have every action of the sacred fire which purifies all things. 
It will release and go forth at your direction into whatever the condition may be, and if you will keep it it, more can be released through your calls than the human creation contains. Therefore, the complete release of each of your bodies from all discord and distress has to come through the law of forgiveness, the giving of the sacred fire through that energy and substance, by burning away the qualities of that which. Discourse 8. 443. Held it close to you to torment you. Now you can be free today. It is all within your own decision of your own free will, how much you want to forgive some other part of life, how much victory and freedom I can give you. I am ready to offer all, but the cosmic law demands that you must do a certain part. You must let go, and you cannot let go if you don't forgive. You don't let go of the distress in your bodies unless you give God's peace, the flame of peace to fill the place where the shadows seem to be. My explanation is not quite as happy as it was last Sunday, I believe. I mean for your human, I do not mean for you. My explanation for you is your victory and your freedom, for the human feelings, my dear ones, don't like to be told this, but nevertheless, I would not be your friend if I were to leave you in the darkness of the misunderstanding of the use of your own energy. When I have the power to explain it to you, and in that explaining, flood you with the love and forgiveness which, I am, because that is victory. Will you be my victory in everything you contact until your ascension? My love and my forgiveness are my victory, and so shall it be with you. When people are unkind and, as you say, hard-boiled, my dear ones, I know it is not easy, but I say to you, you can have an armor, an armor of flame about you, which burns it up and really never lets it. 444. The, I am, discourses T. Register within you, you can turn away from the condition, and call the Archangel Michael or the mighty Astria into action to consume it. You can call the, I am that I am, decree into action to handle all discord. You can form the habit of calling instantly for the complete annihilation of everything discordant ever imposed upon energy and substance, and substance is really condensed energy. So when you say, energy, you can say, substance, too, if you like but all substance is energy condensed. Beloved ones, it is a marvelous feeling to be able to move among distressing conditions and hold the peace within yourselves which is the great forgiveness in the use of the sacred fire, the blue lightning, the violet flame, the cosmic light substance, and flood it forth in whatever intensity is necessary to burn away the discordant quality, to redeem that energy, qualify it with God's perfection of the universe, and command it to fulfill the divine plan. To some degree, to a very large degree, you do this when you visualize perfection in the place where imperfection seems to be, or when you visualize the luminous presence of an ascended master, enfolding the individual or a condition which is in distress. While you draw within your picture the light substance, yet who of you can tell me how much action of the sacred fire or great flame the ascended masters can project into the condition whose likeness you visualize? Discourse 8. 445. You have been told that you have friends of mighty power. Do you believe it? Yes, sometimes you do, but many times you do not in your feelings. You like to in the intellect, and you try to, but many times that feeling of doubt in the solar plexus just feels that the master has gone away and nobody seems to be around to help you. That is not true. We are no farther away from you than your own heartbeat because we are one with the flame of your life. Therefore, if you seem to lack the feeling of power of forgiveness, we can help you. Our love forgives very readily. We have no desire to hold any feeling against anybody or anything in the universe, except to burn away that which is discordant. We can give and flood God's perfection of the sacred fire into every wrong condition. We have no trouble forgiving, and you should not have. Oh, my dear ones, the hard feelings that are held within individuals sometimes in families for a whole lifetime produce such illness and unhappiness. Those things, my loved ones, carry over into the next lifetime, and they build again and again and again, because the individuals who are frightfully antagonistic to each other are bound by cords of energy in that frightful feeling, and they will come back in family relationship again, again, and again, until one or the other dissolves that frightful quality by rising out of it through divine love. Therefore, you do need ascended master qualities. 446 THE, I A M, Discourses T. 
you do need the radiation from the ascended masters, to make it easier for you to forgive the imperfections of life which you see everywhere about you. You can really form the habit of saying to every wrong condition you see in the outer world, I am, the ascended masters consuming flame and cosmic forgiveness of that condition. I am, the cosmic flame which consumes those qualities and sets that energy free, qualified with the cosmic flame of cosmic love and perfection which I know commands the fulfillment of the divine plan. Then go on your way. Just form the habit of making the call. You can call to any one of us or all. You can call for the activities of the sacred fire, and you have no idea what tons of pressure will be released from your world, especially from your bodies and your feeling worlds. My dear ones, now comes the happy part of which I like to speak. If you will do this, and if it is done completely, so the habit is established of forgiving or just flashing the violet consuming flame or the blue lightning of divine love from the great central sun through all appearances that are less than perfection. Will you find yourselves and your worlds released from those same qualities? As you take those human qualities away from the energy and the imperfection you see around you, will your presence, and we take away those same human qualities from the atomic structure of your bodies. You will return to your eternal youth. Discourse 8. 447. And beauty, for nothing ever spoiled it but just discord in your feelings. Now you know why I offer you my love and invite you to come into the garden of my heart, for no res entment can exist there, none whatsoever. There is no resentment in the flame of my victory which I can direct everywhere, and I do direct it whenever it is called into outer action. So as you are willing to call the powers of the sacred fire into action in the world about you, to burn away all human qualities and pour the perfection of my cosmic flame of cosmic love, forgiveness, and victory into all the substance and energy you contact. So shall 60% of it take away from your atomic structure, the discord which outpictures is illness or age or distress. Resentment, my dear ones, in business activities and in home conditions too, is 90% of the cause of financial failure or financial lack in the activities of mankind. You cannot have supply when there is held about an individual the frightful vibratory action of hate or resentment. Now remember, resentment is hate, and from this hour henceforth, never for one moment forget that. It really is quite as important to call for the complete cosmic annihilation of all resentment in your beings and worlds, as it is for the annihilation of selfishness and discord. Resentment should be handled individually, because mankind have charged forth so much of life's energy. 448 The, I A M, Discourses T. Qualified with the feeling of resentment, and they have felt justified in doing it. That is the biggest mistake of all. That is self-deception. That is hypnotic control and suggestion to life. That is why in the orthodox world of today, such frightful conditions come in, because when they discuss things of a religious nature, the devotees on both sides feel they are justified in hating someone else who does not agree with them. They feel justified in resenting something that did not agree with their own opinions. Therein, my dear ones, have come the frightful tragedies of war, and in this present one, you will find the battle is between communism and those who recognize God. I plead with you from this hour henceforth, do not allow any of your life to go forth charged with resentment to feed one second longer the frightful, frightful conditions of the outer world. If someone does something to you that is unjust, something distressing or downright vicious and wrong, draw your wall of blue lightning from your mighty IAM presence, instantly. Ask the other person's mighty IAM presence to take command and shut it off, and see that it never touches any energy, substance, or consciousness in the universe again. Go into action and make your call, and know that you are the master authority of the cosmic flame of cosmic love's forgiveness. Then you are my victory, if you will do that. You can be dynamically positive against every. Discourse 8. 449. C-O-N-D-I-T-I-O-N that is wrong or vicious, but you do not need to hate. There is a vast difference. You can be as positive as dynamite against a thing, but you do not have to hate, and resentment is hate. Now if you will really obey Saint Germain's request and never enter sleep until you have forgiven everybody that ever did anything wrong to you, you will know a freedom in these bodies, you will know a supply in your affairs, you will know a peace in your mind, in your feelings. That is yet you have never experienced, 
because my victory depends on your forgiveness and the annihilation of resentment. When your life contains within it the capacity, the ability to call into action the greater concentration of life's activities, and to use the sacred fire, the cosmic light and consciousness of the ascended masters and cosmic beings necessary to annihilate all wrong qualities and conditions. Why in heaven's name do you feel you are justified in resenting? You know you are not. So, today I am going to release you from that, because many have not understood this particular point. This is why Jesus said, in all thy getting, get understanding. Get understanding of what? How energy acts under your power of qualification. How energy acts through your visualizing faculty. How energy acts and pulls upon your attention. That is the understanding which sets you free. When you come to the Ascended Master's understanding of the Great. 450 The, I A M, Discourses T. Creative Word, I A M, When you really understand that you have your beloved, I A M presence, and can accept perfection or prevent a wrong condition acting, why do you resent anything? You have God's power because you are life, individualized life which contains the cosmic unfed flame within your heart and when you have the scepter of power to accept or prevent a condition here, why do you feel justified in resenting anything? You never have been justified in resenting, because it is the greatest disobedience to the law, and I will guarantee anybody on the planet complete release from all distress, all illness in the body and lack in the affairs, when resentment is dead and gone forever. And the purity of our love put in its place, to bless instead of resisting anything. I A M asking you today to use your cosmic scepter of the sacred fire, to take your dominion through the cosmic flame of cosmic love and mastery, and use it to annihilate resentment. Then go on your way like the wind, blessing and purifying all you contact, then will you not be caught by anything outside of your pathway. The wind does not ask your permission to perform, does it? When you use your cosmic scepter of the sacred fire, the violet consuming flame, the blue lightning of cosmic purity, or the cosmic flame of cosmic love and forgiveness, the cosmic flame of. Discourse 8. 451. My cosmic victory or Saint Germain's freedom, the cosmic authority of the Divine Director, you do not need permission to perform any service to life. Go on your way like the wind. You are master of circumstance and, wherever you move in the universe, purify all things and bless all things. Then you are master of all things by your own scepter of power, if you accept it. You have accepted discordantly qualified energy, why not accept the supreme authority of the sacred fire, to go forth and use your scepter of power. Then you not only have your freedom, but oh, you feel the joy and the thrill of accomplishment, when you raise that scepter of flame and command all human qualities consumed from all that you contact. That is true happiness, to see life streams awaken in peace and happiness and freedom, when you have cut away those creations. It is joy indeed. My dear ones, as you have such an experience, when we have assisted you that far. So, I am going to release you from resentment today, and watch out that you don't say to yourselves, Oh, I don't have any resentment, because the thing inside of you which wants to make you believe that, is the very resentment you want to get rid of. And it is trying to live longer to fool you again. That is self-justification, and it is not wise either. There are three things connected with the outer self which should be. 452 The, I A M, Discourses T. Completely annihilated. Self-pity, self-justification, and self-deception. You don't need to justify anything that you do. When you do a thing that is right, it is the, presence, doing it, so you let the, presence, justify it to someone else. Don't you be concerned about it. The human that wants to justify itself is your enemy, and will remain your enemy until you dissolve and consume it. I am speaking of the discord, not the body. Arthritis would be unknown, indigestion could never be, and lack would cease from the earth, could mankind understand that they must let go of resentment and use their scepter of the sacred fire in blessing, to flood God's love and perfection where discord seems to be. Oh, my dear ones, please conquer, please, I plead with you, conquer every feeling in yourselves of bristle and of irritation towards people or things because they don't do what you think they should. That is resentment. All irritation is resentment. Criticism and condemnation are resentment. Passing of judgment is resentment. Resentment has an infinite number of forms which mankind don't recognize, 
and that is why it has held control so long, because it had one disguise after another under which it has acted, while gaining energy to live longer to torment mankind, when the law of life is freedom, peace, happiness, and blessing to all. Discourse 8. 453. Now you who are calling forth the cosmic healing flame of cosmic love. You who want to heal others. You who want to heal yourselves. Whether you want the healing yourself or you wish to use the power to assist others, you must be free from resentment. It has to be. We cannot entrust to your direction, the conky ntration of our energy into the activity of the fire element in and around you, which would be required to do instantaneous healing, if there is resentment within you. When the healing power is drawn forth with terrific sudden action, in enough concentration of the flame in and around your bodies to be all that is required to pour through the individual's physical body and compel instantaneous change of the condition there. Then your feelings must be those of cosmic love and purity. If you were to have that gift from your presence and the ascended host, then all resentment in your feelings must be consumed. That means all irritation, because irritation is nothing on earth but resentment. Irritation is nothing on earth but hate, because the outer feeling cannot get its own way. Every problem that ever came into mankind's outer experience was simply because they wanted their own way, simply because they wanted their way, or irritation and discord, as opposed to the way of peace, blessing, and perfection from the mighty IAM presence. Mankind have been told throughout the centuries, I will. 454 The IAM Discourses T Fight your battles and you shall hold your peace, and there is no peace in resentment. There is no peace in irritation. There is no peace in criticism and condemnation. So these things, my dear ones, must be extracted. I won't refer to anything else, not like other things are extracted, but just taken out of your solar plexus because that is where resentment is felt. That is why it qualifies the energy in the food. That is why it has caused so much distress throughout the centuries. So let me help you this day to let go of everything which is not the great scepter of the cosmic flame of cosmic love, forgiveness, and my victory over all resentment. I told you I had come to take away from you this afternoon, that to which you have been holding, and I still mean it. Now you are going to let go of that. I so decree it, thank you, precious ones. I accept that for your victory, and I qualify it with my victory of your freedom from all irritation and resentment henceforth. Thank you so much, won't you be seated? If you will remember the beloved Master Jesus in healing, spoke to many of those human creations in and around individuals, and he spoke directly to the disturbing thing, either the discarnate entities, of which there were many at that time, or the black magicians which sometimes had control, or the humanly created thought and feeling forms which were. Discourse 8. 455. Causing the distress. He used one statement at the time, because he knew his own authority. He recognized it, lived it, and felt it, and in the full authority of his power of the sacred fire, he said, come out of him and let go. So shall it be with you. I say to every bit of irritation and resentment that has ever tortured any of you, this hour I take that from you, and I say to that thing, let go. You shall come out of these, the beloved of the light. You shall be annihilated from the universe, and the unfed flame, the cosmic flame of love, forgiveness, and my victory, take your place and be the scepter of the sacred fire through these life streams forever. They shall be clothed with the power of the sun and, raising their scepters of flame, shall free others from all discord under which they have struggled, for they have learned the law, they have walked the path, they have faced the light, they have called on the law of forgiveness. They have acknowledged the TAM, as the only authority and only presence acting. Therefore, they move forward this hour with my scepter of loving forgiveness and victory, clothed with the sun, the flame of healing power from the sun, to free others as they themselves have been freed. My victory shall claim all into its heart, and the human qualities of distress shall be consumed within the fire forever. I said I was freedom's twin brother, therefore, when I choose to release life streams from 456THE, IAM, Discourses T. These qualities that have interfered with the full freedom which that mighty cosmic being Saint Germain stands ready to confer, then I move forward by his side and remove those conditions which have held the people of the light in distress, when the cosmic law has said. 
Go forward free and be my victory to all. I enfold you in the flame of my scepter of power, the cosmic flame unlimited, and your victory shall be made known throughout the world. Give to others as I have given to you, and victory shall claim the earth, and Saint Germain's freedom blaze everywhere his release to all life from all that is not the divine plan fulfilled. I thank you. Discourse 7. December 17, 1944. CHICAGO, Illinois. I am come, beloved of the light, to bring the flame of cosmic victory closer within your own life streams and your activities in the outer world. In pouring my radiance tonight, I want you to feel the great cosmic love and forgiveness of my victory. I have come to strengthen the fire element within you, or rather to expand it, and release those qualities which shall enable you easily and freely to overcome all that is of the human, and in its place, flash the flame of my love and my victory to compel all substance, energy, and consciousness wherever you move, to yield you the victory for which you call. If the earth is to have its freedom in the light, then those who know the light and carry this light, must call forth this victory of light which, I am, to the earth. My victory must be acknowledged everywhere that it seems not to be. Every set of circumstances which seems to you a problem must be commanded to become my victory, then shall I establish my flame in and around you, if you will remember to call it forth. 458 The, I A M, Discourses T. You might desire victory within your hearts and within your feeling world, but unless your acknowledgement and insistence on the release of the flame of my victory goes forth into the atmosphere of earth, then it would always remain in you as a desire. Instead of a manifested condition which gives release and relief to the rest of life around you. My victory must be acknowledged, because my victory is cosmic for eternity. My victory knows no opposition. Your own concept of your victory could come forth into outer manifestation to give you victory for a time, but if something destructive suddenly swept in and you accepted it, the condition would be reversed, but not so with my cosmic flame of cosmic victory. Never in your experience can anything ever affect or change it. If you will always remember to qualify the word, victory, with cosmic victory, because that is what belongs to this system of worlds, not all mankind's human creation put together could ever requalify it. Supposing tonight that we remind you to call forth your eternal divine memory of my victory, because many of you have seen the cosmic flame of my victory released often in the past, to produce perfection for all that is of the light. I have loved you a long time, my dear ones, as have others from Venus. For a long time we have poured forth our cosmic flames of love and victory, for your victory, and there have. Discourse 8. 459. Been many, or at least six golden ages on the earth wherein the harmony in the feelings of mankind made a condition wherein they could come in contact with us, because of the harmony of the earth in those ages. Therefore, my victory which I have told you is of hundreds of thousands of years of activity, hundreds of thousands of centuries, is a momentum which no unascended being has attained. Thus will you realize that when a condition seems to thwart you, or there seem problems and temporary interference from so-called human authority, begin to call my victory into action, but remember, it is cosmic victory, and that is always fundamentally cosmic forgiveness, or rather cosmic love. Cosmic forgiveness, and cosmic victory because there must come love before you can forgive. Therefore, my victory is the cosmic flame of victory's love from the planet Venus to where I journey for a time. All the ascended masters and cosmic beings at a certain point in the expansion of the great cosmic activities of this system, minister during certain cycles of activity, and then, as their own momentum in its cosmic power grows greater, there are those who are above them. And they pass on to still greater cosmic activities. These open the door, as it were, and then those who have served the light for a long time become cosmic beings of greater power. 460 The, I A M, Discourses T. That goes on infinitely, and when the time approaches for the Kumaras to leave the earth when the earth is cleansed, permanently harmonized, and held within the cosmic flame of cosmic peace from the mighty Elohim of peace, when that is accomplished, the Kumaras will return to their home on Venus. As will I and those with me, but not until the earth has become the cosmic flame of the victory of our love, and you are, each of you, a flame within that greater flame. Therefore, I want you to feel very close within that great cosmic flame of cosmic love, forgiveness, and victory, which, I am, 
pouring constantly through all who are constructive, through all who will give acceptance to this light. No matter what the appearances are in America, never yield for one moment to the acknowledgement of anything but the victory of light for which you call. Regardless of appearances, regardless of the plans of all destructive forces, if a group of people knowing this law continuously call for our victory, that call goes to the heart of creation, and every power and being of light in the universe is compelled to answer the call. To produce the condition down here which is the victory for which you call. This handful of people might not seem much to you in comparison to the millions upon the earth, but if your calls are to the heart of creation and you are. Discourse 8. 461. Purifying yourselves as rapidly as you can, you stand steadfast with your attention upon the source of all power, and your call is for the victory of light to cover the earth, then that is like a shaft of light to the great central sun. Because your calls go to the heart of creation and draw back whatever is required to continue their expansion until that one shaft of light has expanded to encompass the earth, and the shadows have been annihilated by the flame of my victory. I have agreed to stay on this earth until victory reigns supreme, and it must come through you. You will find, as you feel this more and more victorious, as you pour out greater love and forgiveness, you are always the victorious authority of life. Then will there pour forth in and around you, our cosmic flame of cosmic victory, until the very radiation in the atmosphere about you will cause others who are not in this light as yet, to feel something about you which gives them courage and strength and makes them feel you are right when you say the victory of light must possess the earth, and all else must cease to be. Acknowledge my victory, my loved ones, in everything you do, with every breath you breathe and every heartbeat, and it shall be the almighty power of the sacred fire around you, to compel the condition for which you call to produce victory. You could. 462 The, I A M, Discourses T. Not have victory by yielding authority to the beasts of war, could you? Then you must yield your authority to the, mighty IAM presence, and the ascended host, if you are to have victory down here. Will you remember and realize that the spoken words of individuals who have stolen authority from mankind are not authority over this planet? They might think so, but they must be disillusioned by our victory. There must come within the feelings of the people, a fierce determination to have the victory of light as the authority in this land, and not the depravity of the sinister force in its usurped power. Why do you imagine I have come once a week since this class began, the seven sacred weeks class, and I came a few times before that? I have been rather a steady caller lately, thank you, precious ones, I qualify that with my cosmic love, my cosmic forgiveness, and my cosmic victory, and I command it established in, through, and around you with the capacity to double each hour. Thank you, that is doing very well. I think your energy is doing that all right, thank you so much. Won't you be seated? My dear ones, if you just said to yourselves as many times during the day as you could, Oh, victory, victory, victory. Possess me and my world and all within us forever, you would give me certain freedom to act, and I am quite sure you would never have cause. Discourse 8. 463. To regret being possessed by our flame of victory, I think you would have no cause, ever in all eternity, to be otherwise than grateful and happy. Keep on acknowledging your victory, precious ones. There is no other way to attain it. If you don't say, I am, victory, if you don't say, great host of light, give me victory, if you don't say, come forth and charge this with your victory, if you don't say, victory, in the name of heaven, how can you have it? If you continue to acknowledge it, how can you escape it? Don't you see? You are the authority over all the energy substance, and consciousness which touches your being and world, and since consciousness is one everywhere, you touch everybody everywhere through your consciousness. So whatever you touch can be charged with our cosmic flame of cosmic love, forgiveness, and victory. You know, that decree, double it each hour, is a very remarkable thing. Tonight I am going to put you up to something. I want you to always qualify everything you charge with victory, with joy also. Double your joy and victory each hour. You don't have to become excitable or anything of that sort, but when you understand that victory, our victory, always brings joy to all life, except the sinister force, and you couple with it our cosmic joy in that victory. 
then the expansion of the light is very much more rapid through your emotional bodies, because 464 the IAM discourses T. The joy of victory is very great just naturally. Victory is always a joy, but when you ask for the intensification of the joy of your victory, then do we have a sudden expansion of the light which we can use to very great advantage and to your very great benefit. So love, forgiveness, and victory, amplified by cosmic joy, are a combination you cannot exceed anywhere. I think you will never find a combination which will bring you any more happiness than this I have described, because that is Saint Germain's freedom. You must have love, victory, and forgiveness in order to be free, and you are really never free until you are joyous. So these four qualities are the cornerstone upon which Saint Germain's cosmic freedom is built. The violet flame goes before to purify, but love and forgiveness, victory and joy are the pathway upon which freedom becomes eternal to mankind upon this earth. So, will you just qualify everything with which you are concerned are connected in any way, with joy, and if conditions do not seem to have joy in them, then they need your qualification, don't they? That is the very most opportune place to call it forth. If a condition does not seem to be victorious, then it must have the fire charged into it, to burn out everything which is not victory. If it seems hard to forgive, then call to me, because my cosmic flame of victory is cosmic love so great, it loves to forgive and that is no trouble. Do you know what a great privilege? Discourse 8. 465. Forgiveness is, what would you do without it? Where would you be if it were not in the universe, to act to set you free? If life has provided an action of itself to replace everything human, to forgive everything human with everything that is divine, then truly life is most marvelous. Life is most victorious. Life is the love of forgiveness. Did you ever think of forgiveness as a way and means of keeping yourself happy, or enabling you to enjoy life? Did you ever quite think of forgiveness in connection with joy? Let me tell you, there is not a thing which will bring you joy quicker than complete forgiveness. In other words, give God's perfection completely, everywhere you move, in the place of where the human seems to be. When there seems to be discordant conversation, you can forgive it with God's silence and peace. Where there seems to be pain, you can forgive it with the cosmic flame of God's peace. Then surely, the use of the law of forgiveness and the opportunity you have to produce joy for yourself, is very great in this world, isn't it? Haven't you unlimited opportunity to create joy for yourself, by giving God's flame of our victory in the place of where human creation seems to be? You have the authority and power to speak the word, and leave it to us to change the condition. You don't have to go out and do everything with your own hands. What do you think we would be in the 466 the IAM discourses T. Universe 4, if it were not to help you, we are partners, and since this world needs a business association which has a heart in it, then our cosmic flame of cosmic victory has within it, the heart of love and the flame of forgiveness. My dear ones, you don't yet understand how much you can grow in the outer world today, when you contact the human. The first effect upon you, if you let it, is to crowd out your acknowledgement of the IAM presence, or try to make you forget to call our cosmic flame of cosmic victory wherever you happen to be. But that is to make you realize that the pressure of the outer world appearance can come before you like a cloud before the sun, and shut off temporarily the habit within you, in daily recognition of your presence, when you are not disturbed. Many of you continue your application with great joy when there is no outer world interference, but when something suddenly sweeps in which takes your attention from the presence, don't let it stay off the presence, one second longer than it takes to handle the condition. Form the habit the moment you see something wrong, of commanding perfection to take its place. Then go right back to the presence, and the ascended host, and give us acknowledgement and acceptance and say, come forth here and help us correct these conditions. My dear ones, we stand by. Discourse 8. 467. Your sides many times when you don't even know it. S-O-M-E-T-I-M-E-S -E -E when the struggle seems a little severe and then things all work out harmoniously. You many times do not realize who stood beside you and made the H-A-R-M-O-N-Y appear. You have mighty friends, my dear B-E-L-O-V-E-D ones, ascended master friends of mighty P-O-W-E-R. You are never left alone. Thank you, 
precious ones. I accept that and replace it with my love, to make you feel our victory and your mastery, your joy and your freedom completely. Thank you so much, won't you be seated? The outer world has been acknowledging war, has it not? It has acknowledged everything it did not want, hence it is experiencing what it has acknowledged. But now the world is getting weary of what it has, and it is looking towards the Prince of Peace, our beloved Master Jesus. It is looking toward the beloved Mary, toward the mighty Elohim of Peace. The outer world knows not the Elohim of Peace, but their call to God as they know it, for peace in the God presence from the central sun, which provides the focus for the flame of peace to the earth, expresses itself through the mighty Elohim of Peace. Will you call forth the victory of peace, the victory of love, the victory of forgiveness, the victory of happiness, the victory of freedom, the victory of light, the victory of healing, the victory of every quality you could ever desire, the victory of supply. 468 The, I A M, Discourses T. The victory of wealth, the victory of everything divine. I can serve you, my loved ones, in everything you contact or use, until the moment of your ascension. Do you wonder I have come week after week to get this anchored within you, to make you see the importance of your acknowledgement, to make you feel the flame of my love and my victory? Until one day the atmosphere, like a hand drawing the curtain aside, reveals to you my presence and those who have come with me. You are part, my loved ones, of the legions of victory. You are part of the legions of light. Therefore, go on, and on, and on, acknowledging the victory you really want, and, in everything which seems to oppose that, as if you swept it aside with your hands, command the cosmic flame of cosmic victory to take the place of that which would seek to disturb. Enfold your loved ones in the cosmic love of our victory, the cosmic flame and cosmic victory, through which no human qualities can pass, because if they attempted it, they would be completely consumed within that fire element. Do you understand, my loved ones, how great is the concentration of the cosmic flame of cosmic victory, which it is my privilege to direct after hundreds of thousands of centuries of concentrating and expanding the cosmic flame of cosmic victory? Do you quite comprehend? Discourse 8. 469. The power and the magnificence of that flame which I love to direct. I want you to feel the power of our victory tonight, the power of your victory, the power of the cosmic flame of victory which has concentrated, has expanded for century after century under my direction. For hundreds of thousands of centuries, I have known naught but victory. So shall you build a mighty momentum and your world become the cosmic flame of victory. So tonight, I shall not hold you longer but I shall love you stronger. Accept the fire of my victory and power, and call with your heart's love and double it each hour. I love you, and I can double my love each hour, and as my victorious legions of light, of whom you are a part, let there go forth tonight that love from your heart, and blaze and blaze and blaze my victory to all. Thank you so much, and won't you be seated. Why do you think my victory became so great? What do you think gave me the opportunity to be the focus for that cosmic flame of cosmic victory? That cosmic love which transcends every human concept, for that is the fullness of cosmic victory. Tonight, in reminding you again of the mighty outpouring from the beloved Master Jesus, the beloved Mary, and the mighty Elohim of peace, may you feel their mighty, mighty glory and presence beside you whenever you turn your attention to them. 470 The, I A M, Discourses T. Every one of us in the ascended state can project in or around you or beside you, a flame within which stands our luminous presence. We can project uncountable billions of them. Therefore, when I give you the flame of love from my heart, or my love and forgiveness and victory within which stands my luminous presence, then, T.A.M., with you always, as are the mighty Jesus, the beloved precious Mary, and the mighty Elohim of peace. As is every ascended master to whom you call, T.A.M., with you always, applies to all which is of the ascended host and cosmic activities of life. Call them into action, my loved ones, and you shall know peace and love, forgiveness and joy, and you shall be victory in everything you undertake if you remember to call. Oh, my dear ones, when problems seem to weigh heavily upon you, if you did not do anything but repeat, I am, victory. I am, victory and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until you charge the vibratory action of our flame into the atmosphere about you. 
with such terrific cosmic pressure that anything which approached you would be caught within its embrace and lifted into the vibratory action of our victory, and none could escape. I am, the cosmic victory of hundreds of thousands of centuries, and that is the flame of cosmic love which has burned away everything human that ever dared to look in its direction. Acknowledge our Discourse 8. 471. Victory for everything that is constructive, and you give us one open door after another through which to flash our flame, until it goes forth into the outer world and compels the perfection which life commands to come forth here. So in the cosmic love that is mine, in the cosmic momentum of my cosmic flame of cosmic victory, I seal you tonight. May you feel it in every atom of your beings, and where there seems to be distress in the body, a C K N O W L E D G E my cosmic flame of cosmic victory, and you shall reveal the beings of health, strength, and the victory you really are. It T A K E S your A C K N O W L E D G M E N T of victory, for you cannot continue to speak that word and not sooner or later feel it with all you are, until its light blazes through you and before you and you live within the heart of its love forever. I enfold you in my cosmic flame of cosmic love, forgiveness, and victory, of the cosmic joy which is mine from the use of the sacred fire of life for hundreds of thousands of centuries, wherein the victory of that flame has come forth at my command. Its pressure is cosmic and it is forever expanding. Remember, when you call for our flame of victory, my flame of victory, it is the cosmic sacred fire which forever produces perfection, sustains and expands it to bless all for eternity. Therefore, I leave you tonight, and enfold you in. 472 The, I A M, Discourses T. The great cosmic sacred fire of my love and victory from Venus. May every power of love and light in this universe attend you, and make you my cosmic victory in everything you do until your ascension. Thank you, my beloved legions of victory. Good night. Discourse 8. December 24, 1944. C H I C A G O, Illinois. My beloved family of victory, I am with you again. Thank you, precious ones. I shall charge that with the cosmic flame of victory, for your victory and the victory of light everywhere. Thank you, precious ones. Won't you be seated? Since this is the season of victory, happiness, and light, it is quite apropos that I come to give my love, my blessings, and my victory, for the reception of your blessed Master Jesus' mighty love, as it increases in its intensity and in its outpouring tonight, tomorrow and in that which is to follow. I am greatly privileged to render whatever service I may to increase his love, blessing, and outpouring of light to the earth, since he is the Prince of Peace is the victory of light. My brother Jesus is the cosmic victory of light to this earth, and I am honored and privileged to herald the greater release as it comes from his glorious life stream this night to touch the earth once again in its expanding radiance, pour forth its healing love flame, and bless. 478 474 The, I A M, Discourses T. With that cosmic fire element, all upon the earth in the cosmic authority of the sacred fire of victory forever. The beloved Mary, in the great victory of her love to the earth, with the mighty Master Jesus pours the great cosmic healing flame for the healing of the nations of the world. May I prepare her way for the greater cosmic flame of her love and healing to come to the earth, because as the cosmic expansion takes place each year, in the greater acceptance by mankind of all that Jesus, beloved Mary, and the Elohim of peace mean to the earth. I am privileged to be a part of their victory too. May I herald the approach of the mighty flame and expansion of its authority, mark you, from the Elohim of peace, and may I lay my mantle of victory on the pathway before them, to let their flames burn through all upon the earth, until the victory of love comes to all. These glorious cosmic beings through many eons of time have poured the love of their life streams to the people of earth in every age. When the light was expanding, those life streams gave their love to help expand it. Again we stand in that cosmic hour of victory, to give the wave of love in its cosmic action and power which, this time, becomes the enfolding garment to the earth for its cosmic victory forever. You, my beloved ones, are part of the garment. Discourse 8 475. Of light, the victory of life to the earth. Will you, each one, consider yourself a part of the mantle of light substance which, enfolding the earth, purifies and raises it once more into the luminosity of its divine pattern. 
the luminosity of the bodies of the mankind of Earth, of the structure of Earth itself, and the atmosphere of Earth alone, is victory. The ASCENSION for each individual is the victory of each life stream, and each life stream is but an atom of this world. The structure of Earth itself must become luminous, for it must ascend into that vibratory action of the Ascended Master's consciousness. Wherein the light from the life streams who have embodied in this world becomes the enfolding flame of love to raise the planet and its substance into the glory of the sun. The planet Earth must again blaze the light which sings eternal happiness to the rest of creation, for the shadows sing not the song of life. Only the light sings the song of victory. Only the light sings the song of blessing to life. Only the light gives the opulence of the universe for the use of mankind on the Earth. Only the light forgives the existence of the shadows. Only the light is God's authority over all. The light which comes from each one's own life stream, that glorious, I am presence, and the higher mental body, the light from the physical sun and the great central sun, the light from the 476THE, I am, discourses T. Ascended masters and cosmic beings who minister to the people of earth, the light from the seven mighty Elohim who built the earth, the light from the powers of nature and the forces of the elements upon the earth and within it, only that light is the victory of life. Only that light is authority on this planet. I have come today to impress upon you, by both spoken word and radiation, the mighty cosmic law, and to be the reminder to you through my flame of love, that nothing in the world is victory but the fulfillment of the divine plan. I wish to register this within you today, in letters of living fire, the fire of my love, of my gratitude to life for the privilege of being the victory of the divine plan fulfilled to this earth, and being a part of the victory of the whole system to which the earth belongs. That is a tremendous privilege, a tremendous joy, and only as you become the full victory of the light and the divine plan fulfilled, can you know the happiness. The permanent happiness which is within life when you serve its divine plan and expand its love and blessings to the rest of the universe. I am, the majesty of victory supreme, and only the divine plan's fulfillment could be that authority and power. Therefore, will you feel that in your daily affairs, just the solving of this problem and the other problem is not necessarily victory. You might dissolve. Discourse 8. 477. Them, but if you don't rise into the authority and perfection of your own glorious, I am presence, and produce the manifestations of the divine plan fulfilled, you may have a dozen problems tomorrow where you had one today, if you do not fulfill the divine plan. So will you think deeply upon the word, victory? Will you think deeply upon the great flame of cosmic love which gives so generously to MANKIND upon earth, the opportunity to be permanently happy? to produce eternal beauty and perfection, to become one with the majesty of the rest of the universe. And to be the authority over all manifestation here, by the great cosmic love of creation. I hope to register within you today a record of what cosmic victory means to life, and if you will give me your attention often enough, and call for my cosmic illumination of all that cosmic victory means to the earth, I will raise you out of your struggle, your problems, and your limitations, if you will let me. But if you are to become the majesty of the power of cosmic victory, your attention must go to the gigantic plan of creation, and you must realize the part that you are privileged to serve, and to express in the fulfillment of that divine plan. Only as you take your attention off the petty things of human affairs, will you have time and attention to give to that majesty of creation, the victory of the 478 the IAM, Discourses T. Divine Plan Fulfilled which faces you everywhere when you look above. If the attention is allowed to stay fastened to the petty details of that which serves only the body, then you will not know much about victory. You will not, therefore, have much of the happiness of the victory of fulfilling the divine plan. I want you to look up and see the majesty and power of victory which faces you everywhere in creation, and calls you into an octave of light wherein you are unlimited in your powers of manifestation and the joy of being a part of the perfection of the whole. Only the expansion of the light, my dear ones, is victory. In your daily desires, even though many of them are constructive, yet to just gratify the desires of the outer self is not the victory of life. Victory is the expansion of the flame from the heart of your I am presence, through your physical forms, and the returning to your source in the infinite manifestation of the universe, the glory and beauty of the divine plan fulfilled through you. 
I say tonight, when in distress take your attention off yourself, the outer self, regardless of what the distress seems to be. Command that attention to go to the mighty IAM presence, and the cosmic beings who are rendering service to the whole world, and try to comprehend something of the magnitude of those life streams, in their service to the earth and their fulfillment of the divine plan, and see if after. Discourse 8. 479. An hour's contemplation, love, and devotion in watching their gifts to the rest of the universe, you can come back to the little self and longer feel sorry or in distress. When above you is the infinite opportunity for your cosmic victory, why let this outer self make you a slave to its limitations? Forget yourselves, my loved ones, and I say to every one of you, regardless of your manifestations, I am not interested in your mistakes of the past, any more than I would be interested in your limitations of the present. I am interested in expanding my love and joy through you, my feeling and flame of victory, to go through and set you free. I am not interested in your mistakes or your limitations, otherwise I would not be victory. The beloved goddess of light told you that the higher mental bodies of individuals often stand with the hands over the eyes, that they may not behold your iniquity, showing that the higher mental body is not interested in your mistakes or your limitations. That is what the Master Jesus meant when he said, See no man after the flesh. If you are interested in the mistakes and the limitations of those about you, you will be the outpicturing of the aggregate mass of all you see. To me that is not victory. You do not need to know all about the shadows in order to understand about the sun. The shadows can teach you nothing about the sun, but the sun can annihilate the shadows. The shadows. 480 The, IAM, Discourses T. May pass between you and the sun, but the shadows never get into the sun, and they cannot take it out of existence. Just so with your attitude to the rest of mankind. You have the opportunity of being the cosmic sun of victory supreme and the divine plan fulfilled, to bless all you contact with permanent happiness. Why should you discuss each other or your mistakes? I am here to bring you the freedom of your victory, and ask that cosmic victory in its mighty flame of eternal happiness clothe you with its sacred fire, and you never remember aught again but the glory which is ahead. You have been in the shadows for many centuries. You no longer need to stay, for the door opens wide ahead of you, to live forever in the victory of the light. Go forward, my brave ones. My love enfolds you. The flame of cosmic victory in the divine plan's fulfillment beckons you on to the goal of your attainment, and there lies not but happiness between you and your attainment, if you remember me. My dear ones, please from this hour take your stand that the fulfillment of the divine plan, every moment you exist here in the physical body, is the only thing to which you give your attention, your love, and your energy. He who has the courage, the strength, and the power to place that glorious, I am presence, above all on the planet and say, there alone belongs. Discourse 8. 481. The attention of mankind, there will I give my love and devotion. There will I point all mankind to the heights. There will they receive the power which frees them all, and to that height alone do I give my all is master of all. That glorious, I am presence, above you, my loved ones, that mighty, adorable, I am presence, the supreme victory of the sacred fire throughout creation, can in one flash of a flame from its hand, do for you and for others what you cannot do in physical assistance, no matter how hard you try. I say to you, know your, I am presence. Dare to put it first. Point mankind to the heights. Show them the reality of their every breath and heartbeat, and you will not need to struggle longer to assist mankind in physical ways because the presence will clothe you with its flame. And you will do with a wave of your hand, as did the Master Jesus, that which no amount of physical effort will accomplish through the outer self. Only as that I am presence is placed first and given all, only as the presence is acknowledged as your victory, only as that presence is to you a living being worthy of every moment of your time and attention, will you know the victory which, I am. So long as you divide your service to life, you will not have victory. There cannot be two masters in your house, for a house divided against itself falls, and what? 482 The, I am, discourses. Is there in this world greater than that self which gives you all? I am pleading with you to be loyal to that self. There must your love and devotion go. There must the credit be bestowed. 
there must the acknowledgement be given. There alone comes to you, heaven. Jesus attained the great victory and was the example of its manifestation, but he gave that, I am presence, all, and all the, presence, had, enfolded him in its cosmic powers which made him supreme over this world forever. But do you realize, my loved ones, that your victory is the victory over the things of the world? Over the human feelings of the world, over the streams of energy in this world which want to pull you away from the presence, or draw your attention upon the limitations of human discord and mistakes. Victory means the I am presence is acknowledged above all. Victory means the authority of that presence, saying to the outer conditions, I am the perfection forever for which you call. Harmonize and purify yourselves, and fulfill the divine plan as was originally intended. I want you to feel deeply, today, that there is only one victory and that is the divine plan fulfilled. That victory is mastery over all discord, and unless you do fulfill the divine plan, you will only have to again tread this pathway, in the limb. Discourse 8. 483. Every atom of your beings you place that, beloved I am presence, first, and say, I have come home to abide within thee, my victory. Who is the victory of the universe? The individualized flame from the great central sun in your, P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E, -E, in your heart, in your higher mental body. What do you serve in the activities of the outer world? What do the activities of the outer world give back to you which will help you gain your ascension, or which will help you help others to ascend? The ASCENSION is the victory, is it not, of your human journey here? Well, isn't the ascension of the earth into the light from whence it came, the victory of the world? And are you not supposed to be the light which illumines the world, if you are to help it be the victory of the divine plan fulfilled? Pamper not the human, linger no longer in the entertainment of the physical senses, when above you abides the master presence of the sacred fire, ready to release through your physical forms those mighty flames that produce manifestations of magnitude, beauty, perfection and joy which are forever a blessing to all creation. I have come to give you my illumination of the cosmic flame of cosmic victory, if you want me. My love is the cosmic flame of cosmic victory, which fulfills the divine plan on every hand, if you will call me. I appreciate all the calls you have made. 484 The, I A M, Discourses T. Otherwise you would not be this near your victory but this day there is a cosmic wave of illumination going forth throughout the world, which will awaken the mass of mankind to a desire for something more that is of God. Therefore, since the cosmic wave comes to bless the whole, you may benefit greatly by that if, in its mighty onrush, you turn your attention to the cosmic understanding of cosmic victory, and decide to be part of its majesty, beauty, and power. You have been brave defenders of the light. You have won many victories, but I say to you, as the legions of victory, I want you to have cosmic victory. While yet unascended, you may open doors through which our cosmic flame of cosmic victory can be commanded to fulfill the divine plan, and the divine plan ahead of you becomes a blaze of glory, and your happiness is increased in leaps and bounds, beyond anything you know this hour. I want that happiness for you. Acknowledge no more the conditions of the outer world as worthy of much time or attention. Command them to yield you the cosmic flame of cosmic victory, and they will either disappear or become the perfection of happiness worthy of being made eternal. I want you to feel today, your cosmic mastery over the conditions of the outer world, for only as you acknowledge, accept, and call forth the cosmic flame of. Discourse 8. 485. Cosmic victory, will the flame surge around you with the power which compels the human quality to recede and then be consumed. I want to bless you today with the cosmic flame of my love, with the full illumination to your minds of all victory means to you, and to impress upon your memory that only that which fulfills the divine plan is victory. When obstruction attempts to cross your pathway, raise your swords of blue flame and command it annihilated. Command my cosmic flame of victory to flash before you and be the pathway upon which you tread until the moment of your ascension, and I will make it so. The world shall see manifestations that will compel illumination, and the shattering of that which has bound mankind so long in the limitation of the senses. Make up your minds this hour to be the joy of my cosmic victory, and that flame shall flash to you as lightning through the cloud, and I shall reach you everywhere instantly.
Let me make you the lightning of my victory, the cosmic flame of my love, the infinite power of my forgiveness, and everything you contact shall be your cosmic victory. These mighty beings who are pouring a radiation during these seven sacred weeks, wield activities of the cosmic sacred fire which you can scarcely comprehend. The magnitude of the flame which they can direct is past all human concept. The Authority 486 The IAM Discourses T And power which they are to the earth are overwhelming to everything human, and their love is the greatest manifestation of the fulfillment of the divine plan. Therefore, as midnight approaches tonight, we would deeply appreciate it if in your love, gratitude, and adoration to the beloved Master Jesus, the beloved Mary, and the Elohim of peace, you would call forth the cosmic flame of their victory. To be a mantle of the sacred fire enfolding your loved ones in the national defense, enfolding our beloved Donald and the younger generation, enfolding your nation, and then enfolding all mankind. Call forth the cosmic flame of their victory to be the mantle which enfolds every human body on the planet, with the cosmic sacred fire that compels all else to cease to be. Oh, my loved ones, if you only knew the power which is within you. If you only knew how a few hours, perhaps, of that intense feeling of the authority of the cosmic flame of love's cosmic victory, could surge through your bodies and your world, and produce miracles of perfection which would amaze you. This power is within your life streams, else I would not be here. I want you to feel with every atom of your beings, your cosmic authority to command the cosmic flame of cosmic victory to compel the divine plan fulfilled for you, fulfilled through you, fulfilled through all to whom you send your love, and compel all things to become the cosmic flame of cosmic. Discourse 8. 487. Love's Divine Plan Fulfilled. Oh, my dear ones, the energy mankind are putting into the defense activities, so-called defense, of destruction, that is all it is. If all the energy that mankind spend each day in building things that destroy the good God has given, if all that energy were for just one day qualified with the call for the cosmic flame of cosmic love's fulfillment of the divine plan fulfilled for all, we could sweep in an action of the fire element which would lift mankind out of the shadows forever. When magnificent beings like the Elohim of Purity, your mighty Lord Maitreya, the beloved Jesus, the mighty Saint Germain, and your blessed Godfrey, when mighty beings like Sanat Kumara and the mighty Cyclope are surging forward periodically great cosmic flames which come under their direction. To take out of the atmosphere of earth the discord mankind have built, when those magnificent beings of cosmic power surge forward the cosmic flame for the freedom of all, my loved ones. I come to assist you to make the call that all awaken to the reality of the I am presence, and these great ones, and give them the acceptance which enables them to set you free. Oh, precious ones, as many manifestations as you have already had, the proof that all of you have had through your own bodies of these currents of energy. 488 The I am Discourses T. And the flame of love which surges through at your call, even with all you have had, still, my dear ones, if you could feel deeply the majesty of these beloved ones to whom you call, if you were to feel completely all they mean to the people of earth. In one wave of that feeling would their powers enfold you and surge forward to help you to your victory. You have made marvelous progress thus far, but with all that has been done, now that which lies ahead of you can be done so much more quickly with such heavenly joy, that I come to charge you today with my cosmic flame of cosmic victory, to make you feel its cosmic action. And to surge you forward like a mighty ocean of power which takes you out of distress forever, that makes you a blazing ocean of that cosmic flame of cosmic love and victory to your fellowmen, to the powers of nature and life everywhere you contact it. Then your light grows greater, your love grows greater, your victory is eternal, the divine plan is revealed and made manifest in magnificent authority, and you are proof to all creation of your divine heritage. When the beloved ones caught in the shadows of the outer world's distress come to you, and turn their attention once again to the Godhead of the universe, then do we want you to stand forth magnificent beings of victory. Then will you say to these who have come from the shadows, Beloved, here is the light. Discourse 8. 489. There is thy pathway home. I will lift thee by the hand and thy freedom shall be now. Make yourselves this cosmic flame of the cosmic victory of my love. Render this service to your blessed ones returning from overseas, and show them that which they are seeking, 
and that which will make them forget forever the hand of mass destruction. The world needs every one of you this hour to stand forth a being of blazing glory, beauty, and perfection in the authority of victory, power, and cosmic love supreme, which yields no thing to the human. But moves on your pathway like the wind and leaves a blazing trail of fire which draws within its heart those who look your way, and makes you the raising power of the nation and the world. We are all greatly privileged tonight to receive the outpouring from the great Master Jesus, and as you sing, Holy T.A.M., to him tonight, we shall stand around you and blaze this flame of cosmic victory of which I am speaking. And if you will accept it, if you will feel it, and if you will know it is real, so shall it remain around you, and your manifestations in the future will be proof and evidence of the truth I have spoken this hour. The surge of the cosmic light over the next eight days is of tremendous importance. All cosmic beings are converging in the outpouring of their mighty rays and their cosmic flames, to the accomplishment. 490 The, IAM, Discourses T. Of the victory of the light everywhere. May you be a marvelous, crystal cup, receive from them all they want to give, retain it, and be its ever-expanding fountain of outpouring wherever you move henceforth. The hour draws nearer each day for that manifestation which clears away from the earth all that has been mankind's distress. May you in that hour of victory stand revealed, clothed in the cosmic flame of my cosmic love's victory. Wrap that flame from my hand, from my heart and my head, around those who come to you. May my flame reveal to you the cosmic authority which is conferred upon those who give their all to the victory of the divine plan's fulfillment for all. Feel my cosmic power in its cosmic flame and cosmic love go forth this hour for your freedom, and command your bodies released from all limitation. I will help you, I want the divine plan fulfilled for you and through you. I want you to stand forth the living evidence of the magnificence of life's love and blessing to those who give it their acceptance. May the cosmic flame of my love's victory enfold you as a garment of sacred fire. May it go forth this hour to clothe those who are in the distress of the rest of the world and, like lightning flashes through the sky, make one flame after another go forth and wrap itself around those precious ones, to bring them. Discourse 8. 491. Back here happy and the victory of my love forever. I will do, if you will call, and together we shall move forward and hold the hands of all, till victory of the divine plan fulfilled through cosmic love's great power shall flood the earth and forever still the human from mankind this hour. My victory, beloved ones, is the sacred fire of my heart, and I clothe you in it forever. Be its blazing presence to all, and have the joy that is mine to answer every call. May we stand in attendance tonight, upon the Master Jesus, the beloved Mary, and the mighty Elohim of peace, and while they send forth their outpouring to the world, they will clothe you in their flames of cosmic love and cosmic peace and cosmic healing power. May my flame of victory be your garment also of cosmic freedom, with beloved Saint Germain and the other great ones who will be with you in this room tonight. You have given us acceptance. You have felt close to us. Therefore, we come and shall stand in attendance upon the Master Jesus tonight. Discourse 8. December 31, 1944. CHICAGO, Illinois. Good evening, my family of victory. Thank you. May that be amplified until it becomes the cosmic flame of victory that is the atmosphere of Earth, and the only atmosphere of Earth, and tell all upon Earth is the victory of the garden of my heart and the garden of your hearts. Thank you. Won't you be seated? Tonight, my beloved family of victory, I have come to bring you the happiness of my victory. Harmony came this afternoon to give you the substance and flame of his harmony, and to take away some of the things that have been your distress. I come tonight to give you the flame and substance of my victory, thank you. There goes another wave around the world, thank you so much. Won't you be seated, please? Now is the flame of victory, the joy of my victory is amplified and released from the royal Teton tonight so shall every one of your life streams be a flame of victory within that greater wave, shall. 478. Discourse 8. 493. C-O-N-T-I-N-U-E in action, intensifying and expanding by our C-O-S-M-I-C action of the fire element wherever you direct it and wherever you decree it to go, and it shall be held in sustained action, if you so decree it. I mean the individual activity of it in and around yourselves, and then throughout the world. Precious ones of light, 
you who have such capacity to do marvelous things in the next few years in America, I am determined to stand guard with you, and do everything I can to make you victorious in your every heart's desire. For I tell you, beloved ones, many of the younger generation and many of the others, we will not call them older, just the other victorious ones, can and shall be the outstanding lights of the world within the next ten years, and many of you within five years. As you sincerely stand guard and expand your powers of light in your calls for victory. After all, whenever there seems to be danger threatening, make your call to your mighty IAM presence, and the ascended host to stand guard and increase your protection, and then command yourselves to be my victory. Acknowledge your victory, don't spend any time looking back or regretting anything. You are here this far, the light is ahead of you, and if you seem to sometimes occasionally fall off the perch, well climb right up because, precious ones, nobody can keep you down if you choose to climb to. 494 The, IAM, Discourses T. The heights of victory, nobody can keep you down but yourselves, and you are not the kind to stay down. I shall see to that, precious ones, I don't want you to waste one moment of time or an ounce of energy worrying about anything. Instead, acknowledge your victory, acknowledge the joy of your victory. Acknowledge the flame of my victory in you, and what you acknowledge shall be yours for eternity. We from the Ascended Master's octave are concerned with expanding the victory, which is the action of the sacred fire and the cosmic light. Therefore, whenever there is the slightest opportunity for us to help expand anyone's light, or expand and protect constructive activities, we flood forth everything which can be accepted and used, and we stand ready to sustain and expand it. We stand ready to make every constructive thing victorious on this earth, if mankind will keep their attention upon the victory they really crave, and which is the only source of permanent happiness. I do hope that during the coming year, whenever you think of me, whenever you acknowledge victory, you shall always acknowledge the joy of victory, my joy of victory, the ascended master's joy in victory, the cosmic joy of cosmic victory. Then you shall know happiness in everything you do regardless of what the outer world conditions seem to be. I want you to feel that your time in. Discourse 8. 495. Energy are qualified and occupied with the acknowledge DGMENT of the joy of my victory, for I am determined it shall be so. There are many of those under this radiation throughout the world today, who seem to be sir o u n d e d by conditions of frightful viciousness, and yet those brave hearts are silently holding within themselves the call to the I am presence, and to us. And holding silently within themselves the feeling and determination to have victory, the victory of light. So as you move forward in the activities of the coming year, regardless of appearances, just keep surging forward through your hands one wave after another of the cosmic flame of my victory, until it compels the complete release of whatever cosmic action is necessary to build to a momentum. Then any situation you suddenly find has to be handled, will just be swallowed up, as it were, by the momentum of your acknowledgement of the cosmic flame of cosmic victory. It shall become that, even though at first it might seem to be the opposite. If you want something done, just acknowledge the victory of it already manifest. Keep acknowledging the victory of the fulfilled desires of your hearts. If it is a physical thing you require for constructive use in whatever you are doing, you can say to your, mighty I am presence, my. Mighty IAM Presence, and Mighty Victory, TAM. 496 The, IAM, Discourses T. Your Cosmic Victory and Presence in This Thing. 1 AM, Your Cosmic Victory and the Visible, Tangible Presence of This in My Hands and Use. Acknowledge your victory first, my precious ones. If you will do that, it gives me the opportunity to flash the flame and wrap it around whatever the condition or activity is and then as you draw it into association with yourselves, you will find it carries the quality of my victory. Acknowledge victory first, after all, my victory is one with your, mighty IAM presence. IAM, one with your, mighty IAM presence, and when you call to your, mighty IAM presence, acknowledge your victory before you go into outer action. You remember the phrase you have been taught, before you have called, I have answered. You have given innumerable decrees. There have been so many in the last few years. Do you really believe then, that you are the victory of every decree you have sent forth? Were you not told, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto you? 
I say to you, decree your victory before you begin and I shall establish a permanent flame around you from which at any moment there can come forth an expansion into whatever you are doing, and help you make that accomplishment the perfect victory for which you call. Make it easy of accomplishment, make it a joyous accomplishment, for I am determined this year, with your cooperation. Discourse 8. 497. To bring more joy into your daily activities, instead of you having a feeling that the things you are doing are a struggle. I say to you, I am determined there shall be the joy of my victory, because when the joy of my victory comes into action, you will find the speed of manifestation is increased infinitely. I want you to have in the new year, oh, such magnificent accomplishment. I want anything and everything you put your hands to, to come into magnificent heavenly success in such joy and such victory, that each day shall be, as it were, a lifetime of happiness and accomplishment. Now you can have this. Let us set this pattern at the beginning of the year and be determined that it shall be the controlling authority for the entire year in everything you do. Let us see how much momentum of our victory and joy, our joy of victory, you can draw forth into your worlds in the coming year. The reason for that is, precious ones, you together with all the, I A M students could form, as it were, a sun, a, cup of light, in America. Then each one, as he or she goes to some other part of the world, becomes an individual son in that locality. Through every one of those individuals, because of your mass activity here, there can go forth on a moment's notice, as your victory increases here, a tremendous amplification and protection to those blessed ones wherever they are and in whatever. 498 The, I A M, Discourses T. They are doing, so you really become, as it were, a powerhouse, and individuals in the rest of the world are sort of relay stations. In that way, the greater your victory, the more joy you have and the less sense of struggle, the easier it will be to expand their light, and let the light help control all conditions in those localities in which they move. So, this which we are calling forth for the coming year is a very far-reaching activity. I want to show you what it means for a group of people to stand steady to an ideal and hold together, until the end is accomplished. When you realize that during Jesus' ascension, there were only 500 witnessed that ascension. An event of such cosmic importance as that was only observed by 500 of the mankind of Earth. At this time in the world's history, because of the greater means of travel of modern times, the faster means of travel, this light has been enabled to spread throughout the entire civilized world. So there are great streams of the flame of the sacred fire and cosmic light, especially the unfed flame the activities for which you call, that are drawn forth for your blessing here. Then immediately, an individual wave of that travels out to everyone else under the radiation. The activity of tonight will be of tremendous importance, because you have already drawn forth through your acknowledgement and call to the unfed. Discourse 8. 499. FLAME, Certain Conscious Recognition and Use of Its POWERS and Its Action. Tonight, my loved ones, in your etheric bodies will you stand within its radiance. That is of very great importance from a cosmic angle. That always has to come, before the outer physical manifestation of it can be established permanently in the outer world, where people understanding its SACREDNESS and its power, purify themselves, and then come into its radiance to receive its cosmic assistance. That unfed flame established in the Royal Teton has for long centuries generated its power there, and was called into action as a sustaining focus for those bodies. You, who tonight will pass through that retreat, will at the inner level receive of that sustaining radiance also. This messenger has called forth so consistently, so persistently, the action of the unfed flame, that the great cosmic law of life has chosen to enfold you in a more intense action of its blessing. And as you receive that at the inner level, you will notice in your outer physical activities of the coming year, more and more power to accomplish your victory easier and with greater joy, and you will feel more and more the closeness and reality of that unfed flame. In calling forth through the power of cosmic love, its action to enfold the beloved Donald, all those blessed ones in the national defense, and the younger. 500 The, I A M, Discourses T. Generation it is a call which goes to the heart of creation. And the beloved Sanat Kumara, who has for many centuries drawn its mighty activities here to the earth, 
feeling the pull of that love go forth and enfold those blessed ones in the midst of such frightful conditions, will pour forth his enfolding love about that radiance, and as you accept it. And it is drawn within your atmosphere by your own higher mental bodies tonight, I want you to feel it. This is no idle imagining. This is an inner action of life's great blessing to you. It will give you very much greater power of accomplishment. It will make that which over the last year seemed a struggle to you, a joy of accomplishment, and will seem no effort to you, as you remember it and qualify it with the joy of my victory. When you add those two powers together, the power of that unfed flame and the joy of my victory, there is no reason why every one of you in this room tonight, and all under this radiation, should not move forward into magnificent accomplishment during the coming year. You should be the outstanding lights of the world, to give the assistance to others which they so much require at this time. My dear ones, you do not yet know the capacity all of you have to assist many, many, many of mankind. The knowledge which you have attained thus far, you can go forth and give to others where they are receptive, but. Discourse 8. 501. Never intrude it. Through your radiation of purity, peace, and kindness, just your natural harmony and this power of the unfed flame drawn around you, each of you tonight, the very radiation around you should be able to carry illumination and assistance to those who come to you from the outer world. We want you to stand forth among the people of America, clothed in the power which enables you to rest serene within the majesty of your presence, and the enfolding love of the ascended host, knowing that as you hold the harmony and give your calls. The flame surges into action around you, goes into a condition and changes all things into perfection, as you hold the mastery of self-control over your own feelings. Life is very wonderful, my dear ones, in providing these special activities for the assistance of mankind at this hour of distress. Life is always trying to help mankind undo the results of mistakes, and it is my joy, joy that is positively ecstasy, when I see one life stream after another released from those conditions which have distressed them for so long. You cannot quite understand how we feel, who have come from Venus, a realm where there is nothing but happiness. On that planet, it is not a realm, it is a planet really, a world, but there we know no distress. When a great accomplishment of the harmony which is maintained there through the use of 502 the IAM discourses T. The sacred fire carries out life's magnificent plan of creation in such beauty, such power, and such joy, you have no idea how we long for you to have that same mighty perfection. When we come into the atmosphere of earth and know what you can become, know what you ought to be and what every heart is craving to be, and there it stands in the universe ready to help you become like itself, oh my, we wait and wait and watch and watch. And as the light around you and within you grows brighter and reaches a certain intensity, we don't wait a moment to amplify, to protect that and raise you into the next wider expansion and activity for your victory. This assistance which is to be given tonight is, my dear ones, beyond words to convey to you, the full comprehension of all that it means. Only as you observe its radiance tonight, and experience its blessings and greater powers over the coming year, will you realize how great has been the gift of life and love to you. Your privilege is very great. I say to you again, the mighty beloved Harmony gave you the law this afternoon, and he is determined to help you hold Harmony, but I am determined that you shall have victory, and with this enfolding radiance from the unfed flame there, and with your conscious effort to stand on guard. I trust you shall be a very great disappointment to the sinister force during the coming. Discourse 8. 503. Year, thank you, precious ones. May that continue during the entire year, and roll around the world for your victory. Thank you so much, won't you be seated? Precious ones, I am going to ask one thing of you which will help you, if you will give me your word of honor that you will live up to it, and that is, when any of the great ones explains the action of the law to you. Don't allow any sense of depression to come into your feelings because perhaps you have not lived up to it as much as you would like. Because you fall off the perch a little is no reason you have to be downhearted. Just laugh a little and crawl back up, but be twice as determined to stay up. I plead with you during the coming year, don't allow depression to touch your feelings. In place of that, if there seems to be heaviness in your feelings, just say, oh no. Victory loves me, thank you so much. May we expand that with cosmic love and again flood around the world our cosmic call for victory, 
until every heart turns to the victory of the light and is free from distress forever. Won't you be seated? Now if you will remember, I said, I have not known anything but victory for hundreds of thousands of centuries of victory. In other words, I don't know anything but victory. So, when you say to human creation, oh, no you don't. Victory loves me, and he. 504 The, I A M, Discourses T. Doesn't know what failure is, so you don't stand any chance before him, then you will give me the joy of helping you to feel the flame of my victory. If you will remember, I am going to say just what beloved Jesus said, when you feel me enough, I will be there in the visible, tangible body beside you, perhaps in front of you, and I might enfold you in my arms and make you know all of the love of my heart. Thank you. I ask that to be qualified. Now watch, I ask for that to be qualified with all the cosmic love from the planet Venus from whence I come. 4. I am, the joy and the cosmic love of the victory of Venus to this earth. Thank you so much, won't you be seated? My precious ones, none of you yet comprehend, oh, but in a very small way, what the gigantic cosmic power of the cosmic flame of the joy and victory of the cosmic love from Venus means to the earth. There is no such thing as failure to that cosmic flame of cosmic love which sustains a planet in absolute perfection. There could be nothing human in that. And when we draw forth an intensified action of the cosmic flame of cosmic love and joy from the planet Venus, to bring victory to the earth and to enfold all who will give us acceptance and acknowledgement in the cosmic flame of victory, that is the momentum which I have gathered for so. Discourse 8. 505. Long. Then, my loved ones, truly you have friends of mighty power, and the power of God's heart, the greatest power of the central sun, which is the heart of the great great silence, is that cosmic flame of cosmic love and joy which is always victory. It is my privilege, my great cosmic privilege, to be able to draw those great streams of flame, qualified with that cosmic love and joy which always produce victory on this earth. It is my great privilege to enfold an individual or a condition in any amount of that which I choose, and then sustain and expand it until it outpictures the beauty, the purity, the happiness, and the power of that victory to all creation. So, do you wonder that we do so much want you to have the love and the joy of victory which is your destiny? You must become it some day, and the sooner you are the fullness of the victory and the use of our love and our joy, the sooner will manifestations around you come into the outer, come into perfection, which shall amaze all around you and convince all who see you. That you do have an action of life which is the mastery and the perfection of God's almighty intelligence. When you call forth our ascended master consciousness, you most of the time, I believe, feel that it is more or less an intellectual illumination and the release of wisdom, but I say to you, the ascended. 506 The, I A M, Discourses T. Master's consciousness is the feeling of victory before the manifestation takes place in the outer. That is what I wish you to feel tonight. As you go to the Royal Teton and stand within the radiance of its mighty sacred fire, I want you to feel that you draw into your world, in and around yourselves, a cosmic action of the Ascended Master's consciousness, which is always victory. If you will remember, the Great Divine Director commanded the unfed flame forth into that focus, and it was established there centuries ago. He was the one who commanded it into action, and since he is authority over the life streams of mankind, then as each of you goes there in your etheric body and you absorb the outpouring of his blessing, you must necessarily become more of the outpicturing in your daily activities. Of the joy and the perfection of his great love which drew that fire into a focus there. Since I have offered you the joy and the love of my victory, which is a flame from my heart, and which I offer as a garment to enfold you, my precious ones, to be a sustaining action and a power which can amplify your own efforts to produce victory, you will have to feel my victory. May you feel it so tangibly and use it so constantly and feel me so insistently within it, that the time will not be long when we can come to you in the visible, tangible bodies, talk with you direct, and then plan and assist. Discourse 8. 507. Saint Germain in the purifying and perfecting of America and in laying the foundation for the permanent golden age to the earth. You can be the outstanding lights of the world, and in his service of the light you are privileged indeed, my beloved ones. This night, in this room, you are enfolded in the vibratory action of my flame of love, and the power, the joy, the love and victory from Venus. 
for you are as completely disconnected from the vibratory action of the feelings of the rest of mankind in the outer world, while we are here, as if you were on the planet Venus. You do not feel the distress of those in the outer world tonight. You sit here in this clean, pure atmosphere, held within my consciousness of victory, and I want you to feel that no matter what you attempt to accomplish, if you will call my victory into action first, and acknowledge the cosmic flame of cosmic love, joy, and victory from your presence, first. Then from myself, from Venus, the great central sun, and the other ascended beings, truly will there be a steady recognition in your feelings and a steady acceptance, which will just day after day expand one flame after another in and around you, just like a flower unfolding its petals. And you will stand forth revealed as a thousand-petaled lotus of that cosmic flame of love and victory and freedom from the great central sun, which is the divine plan of your life stream. 508 The IAM Discourses T That term has been used because as you stand within these various activities of the fire element, it is as if you stood within a sun, and the various activities of the flame formed around you, and you directed them one after another wherever you chose to produce perfection. Wherever you choose to produce it, there is always a flame standing ready to go forth, to do your bidding and produce perfection anywhere you command it to come forth, and sustain it for eternity. So do not feel discouraged, but do stand on guard. Do not let down the bars in your calls for protection, until you stand wholly ascended in our octave. So long as you are in these atomic bodies, never let down on your calls for protection, and then we can take you through to one victory after another until your life streams will be a blessing to everybody and everything, even as you pass by. And the very ground under your feet will love you and bless you for your life's gift to this world. So tonight, in preparation of your great privilege as the mighty, mighty light rays and those activities of the fire element, those great spheres of blue flame are projected into the warring conditions of the world. May the gathering power at the inner level of the sacred fire burst throughout the earth and put an end for all time to any way and means of holding war on this planet for any reason. Discourse 8. 509. You are held very close in God's heart tonight. Your presence will bless you, and I trust that your higher mental bodies will remind you of me quite frequently the coming year. Not that your presence cannot give you victory, because it can. But we are privileged to assist and keep dissolved around you. Many of the things you are not aware of in the outer consciousness. And so as we prepare to enter into the great sacred momentum of light, that power of God's love, victory, and perfection which has been there so long, let us just be grateful and bless everything which has gone by this year, and hold our faces, your faces to the light. Mine is already there. Let us move you forward and folded in the mantle of my love, my joy, and my victory. May every power from Venus assist you this coming year, to make you the happiest people on earth and to release through you the powers which raise the rest of mankind out of distress. Let the love, the victory, and the joy that life wants to bring on this earth, flood forth to take command of its own, and dissolve the shadows by the victory of light forever. I clothe you in the presence of the flame of love from my heart, and may my mantle of victory be so tangible about you that you feel it as powerfully as you do your physical garments. Then others will feel it, and together we can bring the victory of light to the world. 510 The IAM Discourses T. I thank you, and I shall meet and welcome you later this evening. Good night. Discourse 7. October 27, 1945. S A N T A F E N E W M E X I C O. Beloved ones of light, in coming to you this evening, to bring the radiation and the love which it is my privilege to expand to life everywhere, I wish you to feel what it means to know nothing but victory. And how do you suppose that realization first came to me? It came from the explanation of the law, and how tremendously sensitive the atmosphere about you is to your every thought and feeling, under your conscious direction. If one understanding that, will realize the only possible source of eternal victory is your own, mighty IAM presence, and the beings from our great octave of life, then you will realize since the atmosphere about you is so highly sensitive to your slightest thought, feeling, and spoken word, that is always tremendously more sensitive to our conscious command. Now then, if you were fiercely determined to rend the veil of the atmosphere and see in our octave the perfection of our consciousness, which is eternal victory, your mighty IAM presence, 
would say to you, here is my hand, at last the barriers are. Phil. 512 The, I A M, Discourses T. Gone. Mankind have not understood how easily the electronic force in the atmosphere picks up and records the thoughts, feelings, and spoken words of the individual, but I say to you. When one has become wholly conscious of all that is within the IAM presence, and all that takes place when you speak those words, mighty IAM presence, into the ethers about you, you will realize that what seems to be a barrier is not so in reality at all. It is your privilege and should be your joy to impress upon the universal light substance in the atmosphere, whatever you desire the IAM presence, to lower into your physical use. If you will remember, your blessed Saint Germain and Shah Era said to you in the IAM discourses, in regard to your call for the tangible presence of the Ascended Masters, while our hearing is perfectly good, yet there is something in the call which you need. It is more than just the release of your own life's energy to come into our octave signifying what you desire, because when you give your IAM decrees, when you keep up your calls to your IAM presence, and to us, you are impressing upon the universal substance around you. The commands of your own life stream. In other words, the authority of your flame of life is, by the use of the spoken word, burning its way through the human creation in the atmosphere of earth. Discourse 8. 513. In the use of the unfed flame of your life stream, in the giving of your IAM, decrees and sending forth your IAM, music, and in the acknowledgement of the IAM presence, you are expanding the flame of your own divinity and imprinting upon the atmosphere about you. Its eternal qualities of perfection. Every time you allow the unfed flame in your heart to go forth in an IAM, decree, or the release of the great cosmic love of the cosmic Christ, you are imprinting upon the universal substance the authority and the perfection of your own unfed flame. That is why you came here, because in doing that, you draw the universal light substance into your own consciousness or by your own conscious direction, you raise it into the full control, the eternal control, of your own unfed flame of life. In other words, by your own commands, you reach out and take the universal substance and draw it into the control of your own, IAM presence, by the use of the fire element, the sacred fire, and that becomes, if it be constructively qualified, an eternal expanding action of the sacred fire within the causal body. In other words, you have taken the universal light substance by the love and the action of your individual unfed flame, you have fanned it into another flame, and it becomes the action of the sacred fire within your own causal body. I say to each of you in observing the chart in 514 the IAM discourses T. Understanding what that means to you and all mankind, every time you see your chart, thank your IAM presence that the cyclic moment has struck wherein the eye picture of mankind's reality can be brought into the physical octave of earth. And never fail to make the call when you see the presence illustrated in the chart. Make your call that every human being on this planet, on bended knees, shall be compelled to see his or her own IAM presence, as it exists in that chart, and also see the ascended host above, regardless of all human creation that is wound around them at the present time. Because if enough people will make the call that all mankind be awakened and compelled to see their source, then the great cosmic beings of the universe, who are the cosmic law, will answer you. You are the authority of life. Never forget that for a moment, not so much in your outer desires, as in the issuing of your commands and the use of the authority of your own, mighty IAM presence, in speaking the great creative word, IAM. Through the use of the great creative word, with the understanding of the power which is within it and what can be accomplished by its conscious direction, you become the authority over everything through the sacred fire of your own life stream, which is your mighty IAM presence. Therefore, when I said I have not known anything. Discourse 8. 515. But victory for hundreds of thousands of centuries, you must realize that I stand within a gigantic focus of the sacred fire, and the momentum which is my life stream's service to the universe has been gathered a-r-o-u-n-d me by the efforts I made to reach out into the universal substance and qualify it with the victory of love and forgiveness, and anchor it around me until it became a living flame of the sacred fire. You can do the same. That is the reason why various ones of the ascended host have said to you from time to time, it is imperative that you make your calls, 
Because if you don't use God's spoken word, the unfed flame in your heart, and the fire element in your feeling world to reach out. Take the universal light substance, and qualify it with the action of the sacred fire so it can anchor around you as your momentum, you don't fulfill your call. If you don't do it, you don't have results, that is all. When you give your, I am, decrees, it is not just a speaking into the ethers of certain calls and releasing certain vibratory action of energy to produce a manifestation, not at all. That is but a very small result of your decrees. When you begin to deal with the cosmic Christ, which is the infinite, I am presence, everywhere present, you are dealing with the ascended master's action of the fire element, the sacred fire, because the cosmic Christ is that. 516 The, I am, discourses T. Therefore, through your decrees and the flame of love in your hearts, you can reach, as it were, your mental hand into the universal ethers, anywhere, and draw the cosmic light substance to yourselves through the command of your higher mental bodies. Because that which comes as the substance of light can be concentrated and built into a flame, until all is raised into the activity of the sacred fire, which is the master element over the other three. Therefore, in the momentum which you build through giving your decrees, you are gathering cosmic light substance which becomes, when you reach a certain momentum, an action of the sacred fire around yourselves. That continues, until you stand forth the jewel in the heart of the lotus of the sacred fire. Then every quality which you have intensified and drawn forth into a momentum bursts, when it reaches a certain intensity of action, into a flame of that quality. That is why in your, I am, decrees, the momentum you have gathered stands around you all, from the inner standpoint, as a focus in which you all abide. Then as you dwell within it and as you harmonize the outer self with the rest, each one of you receives the increasing action of the sacred fire, until every quality stands forth a living flame around you. That is why the people who disregard the messenger's request to come into the large groups are. Discourse 8. 517. Missing the greater action of the sacred fire. If they do not understand the necessity of coming together in large groups, they are missing the action of that fire element in their own individual momentum, because one individual giving your decrees alone at home does not draw the same cosmic momentum and power which the cosmic law focuses into a room where there are many gathered doing the same thing. Throughout the I am student body, there has been at times the feeling, because perhaps you do not like the personality of the group leader or something, well, I can be more harmonious if I stay at home and give my decrees by myself. So far as your own individual world is concerned and your personal feelings for the time being, you might be more harmonious but if you will understand that the cosmic law does not act to the individual with the same intensity that it does to a mass of people, then you will realize that unless you step into the focus which is drawn around the mass, you do not get the same intensity of power. Therefore, you are not drawing the same action of the fire element. Anyone who cares to experience this or try it out, will find I am telling you the truth. Many times when you seem unable to sing alone, as you sing in a group of people, the energy released from them in the musical instrument in the room, you are able to sing many. 518 The, I am, discourses T. Times far better than you dreamed you could. That is the blessing of concerted action. Of course, I know when there is too much discord it is hard perhaps to control the feelings, but after all, your victory is gained by the application you make, and the amount of application determines the momentum you gather, and only when that momentum reaches a certain intensity does it become the flame? It is just the same as the seed planted within the ground. Until it becomes full grown, you do not have the blossom or the fruit. That only comes when its momentum reaches a certain point. The same thing is true in your decrees, in your music, in anything you do in the business world or anywhere else. Until you build a momentum to a certain point, you do not have your manifestation in the outer, do you? Well, if I had not completely surrendered the entire direction of all the substance in my being and world unto my mighty I am presence, in the beginning, could I ever have become a being wherein my victory has been sustained so long, that I have not had any other manifestation except victory? How do you suppose that I closed my door against everything else? Because I gave everything to that which is the only victory in the universe, the mighty I am presence, and the ascended master's octave of life. So it is with yourselves. 
when you call to your mighty. Discourse 8. 519. I am presence, to make everything in your world the victory of the Ascended Master's divine plan fulfilled, and then you remember to charge and acknowledge that victory around yourselves constantly, never giving acceptance to anything else, you will find the ethers about you tremendously sensitive. As you again, and again, and again flash forth your calls for that victory, will you find those tiny points of light gather and gather to the point where they unite in one final call, and they burst into a flame. It is just the same as if you took many sparks and, fanning them, produced the flame. The inner action of the law is almost identical, and you can fan, as it were, those points of light in the atmosphere by your conscious command through the IAM presence. Now then, regardless of appearances, your victory, if it is to be eternal, and that means all that is really victory, must come from your IAM presence. You have all tried century after century down here, with every physical means that was brought to your attention, to attain victory by physical means, and it has neither been permanent nor real victory. The only victory in the universe is the fullness of the beloved mighty IAM presence, and the fullness of the presence is the action of the fire element through the physical form. Therefore, in giving your decrees and commanding everything about you to become the cosmic flame. 520 The IAM Discourses T of cosmic victory of the cosmic Christ, you have entered into that use of the sacred fire which is your ultimate freedom. Until that freedom is gained, you should constantly use your scepter of power to produce perfection. Perfection cannot come without the use of the fire element. The fire element, the sacred fire, has to function through every other one of the three elements. Every action of the sacred fire has to function through the earth, the water, and through the air. Therefore, Whatever you are dealing with in the physical octave must be blessed, charged, directed, and protected by some action of the sacred fire, or you don't accomplish that which you desire. So, if you will remember that my victory is a sacred flame and call that flame into action into every particle of substance, then you will be raising everything you contact into the eternal flame of cosmic victory. That is why when conditions seem not to be the perfection you desire, it is your privilege to sweep the cosmic flame of cosmic victory into those conditions, seize that energy, and charge it with the victory of the sacred fire. If there be discord, then purify it by the violet consuming flame, and still qualify it with the cosmic flame of cosmic victory and make it your own. Seize it by the use of the sacred fire, make it your victory for centuries to come, build your momentum by the use of that. Discourse 8. 521. Sacred Fire and everything must yield to your IAM commands to fulfill the divine plan. Otherwise there would not be an expanding quality or activity within life itself, if its divine design were not a drawing forth from each tiny flame, the powers which forever raise all into the sacred fire, until every tiny flame becomes a gigantic sun. Therefore, will you remember to charge the atmosphere about you with the cosmic flame of cosmic victory? My cosmic victory means the perfection of the divine plan fulfilled to all life, be it the life in human beings or the life in the four elements. It qualifies everything with its perfection. Then as you move forward, you will find a great joy in compelling conditions which seem to be opposing the light to reverse, and make them become the cosmic flame of purity and victory. Then you will enjoy the process of cleaning up the world, instead of feeling it is such a problem and struggle under which sometimes you almost go down. If you will enjoy commanding everything to become the cosmic victory of the cosmic Christ, you will imprint upon the ethers about you the patterns of perfection, and the power of the sacred fire will draw forth from our octave the manifestations of that victory. Had you ever thought of just acknowledging the victory of the cosmic love of the cosmic Christ in every cell of your bodies as it bursts into a living? 522 The IAM Discourses T Golden Flame of Perfection now I don't mean this just intellectually. You have the intellectual concept, quite true, but when you insist that every particle of your flesh begins right now to raise into the cosmic flame of cosmic victory and perfection, you visualize and photograph that victory and perfection right now on whatever happens to be around you. Because the more you acknowledge this and charge it into the atmosphere about you, the more it would automatically be brought forth upon your own flesh or within the body, for in holding the picture around you. 
it would automatically be photographed upon the cellular structure before it came into contact with the ethers around you. So, remember to acknowledge your victory. Now this has a double purpose. Besides giving you the momentum through your own acknowledgement, it becomes for you a tremendous qualifying activity, which is a mighty protection as you move in the coming months among the people of your land. Thus you can affect the people of your land and the world. In the cleansing process where the whole world is having its habits and human creation reversed, we must have a focus of those who understand this law, who will be absolutely inflexible in their acknowledgement of their victory. Then our power is like the point of a wedge. In whatever seems wrong, we can begin to drive the wedge of that flame into destructive. Discourse 8. 523. C-O-N-D-I-T-I-O-N-S. As the wedge grows greater and greater and greater, it shatters destructive conditions apart, and the fire element expands until it has consumed all that is not of the light. So remember, beloved ones, keep acknowledging, I am, the victory of this which I desire, because that decree is your authority and your power to qualify all energy which comes to your attention, with the cosmic flame of cosmic victory. Thus you raise all into the action of the sacred fire. The sacred fire, beloved ones, is, when all is said and done, the mightiest action of divine love. It is the action of the fire element which burns away everything unlike itself. That is why it is the victory of life, because it is the eternal cohesive power of the universe. When you acknowledge it in the action of the sacred fire as cosmic victory, then it must raise everything else into its own quality. So will you feel with me tonight that your opportunity and responsibility are to qualify and claim everything into the great cosmic flame of the cosmic victory of the cosmic Christ, the only presence in the universe wherein mankind can be permanently happy and express the perfection God intends. Because the cosmic Christ is the infinite, I am presence, everywhere present, qualified with the ascended master's consciousness of invincible eternal love. You see, my cosmic power and momentum of the 524 The, I A M, Discourses T. Fire element were gathered by the amount of love and forgiveness which I sent forth qualified with the sacred fire, to touch all things. It is a magic wand of power which compels all raised into the sacred fire of victory. When you raise all things into the great cosmic love of the cosmic Christ, you have raised them into the activity of the sacred fire, and that is eternal. Therefore, it burns out everything unlike itself. Now as you move forward, you will see the necessity of visualizing, acknowledging, and feeling that you move clothed in a sun of dazzling golden flame. If you will acknowledge it as my victory of cosmic love and forgiveness, and as my power of the sacred fire, it will enable me to draw around each of you who gives that acknowledgement, an action of the cosmic law to intensify your own personal effort with the momentum of my cosmic power. Then your own life stream will assist you and I individually offer you the connection with my momentum of cosmic victory. Just so will it be with the great master Jesus during the coming seven sacred weeks. Feel yourselves, as he has said in those blessed dictations, feel yourselves clothed in the mantle of his living light, within it is all power. Feel him hold you in his loving embrace, and know you are the victory of his love and consciousness every hour. The same with. Discourse 8. 525. Myself, the beloved Godfrey, the mighty master Saint Germain, and every ascended being. Forget not your beloved Nada. These blessed ones who have stood guarding Saint Germain's, I A M, activities all through the centuries, have helped you come to this point. Now every action of the sacred fire, as you make your calls and accept it, is answered right now. When you say, I A M, the cosmic law acts instantly. So in your acknowledgement through your decrees, fail not to remember that every acknowledgement sent forth sets the ethers into motion to start, as it were, a forest fire of the sacred fire to burn its way through everything human. And release the victory of its cosmic love which is the divine plan fulfilled. I stand ready to assist you, as do many others from Venus. Give your acknowledgement and feel you are part of our flame. Feel you are held in the mighty cosmic momentum of the fire element of the cosmic love which it is our privilege to be into direct. As a focus of the cosmic law, you may draw whatever intensity you desire of the cosmic love of cosmic victory, and everything you contact will have to be clothed in that love until victory manifests in the outer, and the outer has become raised into the sacred fire of the inner.
Then there are no longer two, but just one, the victory of cosmic. 526 The, IAM, Discourses T. Love Supreme, it is the master presence of the universe. Everything unascended must one day become the action of the sacred fire. That is what your ascension is. It is the raising of the particles of light in your etheric body into the white fire body, which is the higher mental body, then into the electronic presence of the mighty IAM, which is a being holy of the sacred fire. Feel yourselves that presence, and give the acknowledgement of the cosmic victory of cosmic love. Nothing else counts. Everything which is not the eternal victory of cosmic love is but a changing, passing vibratory action. Everything in this world is constantly changing. Something is here today and gone tomorrow, but not so with the cosmic flame of cosmic love, which is life's victory to you whenever you want it with enough intensity to draw it forth into everything. Then nothing can exist in your worlds but the victory of cosmic love, for it is the authority of the sacred fire which controls all the other elements. Move in its presence qualified with its flame. Be its cosmic power of the cosmic Christ, and know the power in God's great name, IAM. It is the flame of God's love, given to all to produce the perfection which is eternal happiness. Move forward tonight clothed in mantles of my flame of cosmic victory. Feel my love and my forgiveness. Discourse 8. 527. And command it to go forth into everybody and everything. Dare to command, as we command, the annihilation of all that was never intended to be. Move clothed in our sacred fire and have victory in everything, where you command it to go forth in the power of the sacred fire of cosmic love supreme. May the blessings of the cosmic Christ, the mighty IAM presence, the higher mental body of every life stream on this earth, and the ascended host, draw into the physical octave a concentrated power of the victory of the cosmic love supreme. May mankind awaken to its acknowledgement and have the glory and the freedom which life commands to come forth now. Everyone in this room tonight shall have the victory of perfect health. You shall have the victory of limitless supply. You shall have the victory in the protection of cosmic love supreme. I so decree it, and my momentum of victory is greater than all human creations. Be at peace. Feel yourselves clothed in the mantle of living flame that penetrates all things, and raises all things into the perfection and victory of life as God intends. I am, victory to all who want me, forever. May the sacred fire which is at my command reveal itself to you in its fullness, and show you what is in my heart for you. 528THE, I am, discourses T. I thank you, beloved, beloved, beloved ones of the victory of cosmic love. I thank you. Finis.